right uh are we ready to jump in yeah, yeah. okay so what, what does everybody remember from last time let's uh let's start the recap i pissed off the last boss <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Steve made poor life choices yeah, for all of us. Steve, Steve greatly under, un, overestimated the amount of damage a ballista would do. A ballista do. would do, yeah. <laughs> the port is working very well for us. Yeah. <laughs> Only one of you is horribly disfigured, so... That's yeah. <laughs> it, it pulled a bless. <laughs> yeah. uh, let me get a watch together going. So... <laughs> Um, have we got enough stuff? Let's have a go at doing our uh, our intro thing. I've got the I've got the three C's theme queued up. Um, let's see if we can remember enough things. So, normal rules. Well, oh, actually, before we jump in, um, I forgot we've got some rule, rules admin to do. Got the fun stuff to do first. Um, just let me quickly run through that, and then we'll we'll dive in. We'll do our um our, our CG. Boo rules. Boo. Um, Boo. so um, one to quickly run over. Um. I'm not going to retcon anything that's already happened. I made decisions when we were going through, um, and I didn't pick this stuff up. I'm mending that, um, and for all of you artificers, um, mending um, the cast time for mending is a minute, not one action. Um, so you can't use it as mm. like an in battle heal. Um, you need. I, th I thought that was specifically changed for the healing. No, it's got specific rules for what it does to a. Um, mm to a iron defender so you can oh, okay. use it as like a to give it like a long rest if you know what i mean and repair yeah. it but it's not like a battle heal you can't use I it see. you can't cast it as a single action you could theoretically use it in battle there's nothing to stop mm. you but it would take 10 turns to do so and it's concentration Fair. so um <coughs> it's it's it, it is very much an out of battle thing that you can use mending on your um okay. on your steel defenders um, I say I'm not going to re-break Smithy's robot. I'm like fuck you, doesn't how the rules work? <laughs> Down you go. Um, <laughs> but it's just a note from going forwards. Okay. Um, and the other thing I wanted to touch upon, or I wanted to sort of do a bit of rules revision together, um, was around the help action because um, there was one I was sort of pondering over what um, we did in the last episode, which was um, Steve. You sort of had wife help you fire the ballista. Um, and it's around specifically what the health ac help action does in combat. And let me see if I can bring it up. Is it in the SRD? Uh, combat help. Here we go. Uh, so, help. You can lend your aid to another creature in the completion of a task. And when you take the help action, the creature you aid gains advantage to the next ability check. It makes to perform the task you're helping, provided it makes the check before the start of your next turn. Alternatively, you can aid a friendly creature in attacking the creature, a creature within five feet of you. So this is the point I was getting oh. to, is that you can only help somebody attack something that you're next to. So the, the scenario we had of Steve, were, they were both at the ballista end and she was helping him fire it. So that's getting advantage on an attack. It's a bit of a unique one because it's a siege weapon and there aren't really mm -hmm. any rules as written for using st siege weapons. So I, I think I'd continue to allow it in that one specific circumstance because I think that mm -hmm. does make sense. You, yeah. You've got two people operating one large weapon, but it's just making sure we're clear about how that works going forward. That if you do mm -hmm. want to do a help, that you can only help attack something that you're within arm's reach of because effectively you're distracting it, you're you're occupying yeah. its attention to give somebody else an advantage. So, for instance, if I'm firing a crossbow, my steel defender has to be next to the target that I'm firing at. Exactly, yeah. you got it. You've got it. Okay. Cool, um, and that was pretty much it. There wasn't anything else that came up that I can think of. Um, so I think we are ready um, to dive in. Let me move this out of the way. It's stuck in my mouse. <laughs> Off. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Cool, right. So um, with that, uh, let's roll credits. <laughs> They'll all jump in at once. There's no music yet. Is it not? Yeah, I can hear it. No, I can't. Oh, there we go. We're in. Um, uh, nice flipping off Tars. <laughs> <laughs> the moment when we all, or the people who could see into the area, first saw the Halhorns coming out. Just, just the, the flames. What was that, Smith? I was shouting Halhorns. <laughs> Oh, Nadine words. slowly drawing the arrow out of uh, Robo Nadine's neck. 
Like a Benny Hill slipping in grease compilation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Compilation of mixed oh. catapults. I was just gonna say the like, <laughs> compilation of spears sailing past the tiger. I think the giant ballista like slamming in right next to the orc boss. Oh, the uh, the sword missing Tars as he leans to the side. Yeah. Nice. Cool. So with that, um, uh, Dave and Smith, you both got one. Matt, you got Ooh. two. Steve, you got three. Where do I have my inspiration marks? There we go. Is there a, a watch along link? Uh, there is. Yeah, you guys, you're not on it. Sorry. It's in Where the, is it? It's in the roll twenty chat. Uh... Oh. I can whack it in Facebook if you need it. No, it's fine. It's being an idiot. That's all right. Um. So. Um, I think we, we start off right where the last episode ended, so let's uh, let's kick the music back in. Let me turn this down a bit. Um, so yeah, I think the episode the episode starts where the previous one did from the black screen immediately, and we bump back in, and instead of sort of fading slowly through, um, the roar of the crowd is immediately all around us again, um, and we sort of get the, the the final moment for the previous episode with wife with her press back pressed up against this pillar, peering round, and we can see sort of stepping out into the arena. Um, slowly one foot at a time surrounding their surroundings um, are these two great dogs um, as I described last time they look like giant rottweilers um, sort of slicked black um, with their underside sort of glowing gently orange from the magma slowly circling around from inside um, and it's immediately their turn so um, let me pull up a character Excellent. sheet and see who's, um, who's on the chopping block Tastico The Tamer Hellhound Hell, I got any meat? It'd be an uncomfortable mount, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, I haven't got any touch damage, I don't think. So it wouldn't be like some flame things where you'd just be burning your sack <laughs> if you attempted to ride one. It's not like sitting on the back of a fire elemental or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Burning your sack. <laughs> <laughs> not a <laughs> phrase I needed to hear. <laughs> this was cooler in my head. <laughs> uh, literally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a delicate balancing act with this backing music. It's like I slide it a millimeter up, and it's way too loud, and limited out, and it's completely silent. <laughs> right, so let's have a look. Does it say anything about particular dislike for certain characters, cats, or anything like that? <laughs> Or cat robots. Yeah, specifically cat robots. Oh, yeah, here it is. He <laughs> doesn't like robots which aren't technically robots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Humanoid cats. <laughs> um, so. Let's have a look. So let's first figure out what their movement is and how many people they could potentially gobble in one turn. I can hear a loud. Is that um, pixel I can hear? In the background, <laughs> yelling Ew. at you. Heard, heard us talking shit. <laughs> so what do you say about cats? <laughs> uh, okay, so their movement's only fifty. So nobody's getting mauled just yet, but I can start deciding where to go. Okay, um, so hmm. It's at this moment I mention how I got a 21 on my stealth last turn. Yes, I, I noted that down, Dave. Don't you worry. <laughs> All right, guys. You've been thinking about that the entire fortnight. Yeah. <laughs> Waking up in the middle of the night like, oh, 21 stealth. Gotta mention that. Um, yeah, I'm just going to get these guys into the thick of it. So um, I'm just going to use... They're both going to use their, their full action to sprint. Um, so let's do this one at a time. Um, and they begin circling you in. So they take a step out and look around the arena. Um, after after a while, you see their eyes focus on the centre, and they they see um, they see the lot of you sort of huddled around, or at least those of you aren't hidden. Um, uh, 
wife got an eight on her stealth, so we probably see her looking around and then she like ducks back behind, having clearly made eye contact for a few seconds before <laughs> hiding. Um, and then we can see Nadine and Smithy are sort of in the middle with everybody else hidden around them, just like uh, chained together by the wrist. Um, and they're going to bolt towards you two as you're the only ones visible currently. Um, so. Fucking. <laughs> Uh, Excellent. They're going, to, they're going to circle you in. So one of them sweeps round to the south and comes from your side, and, and you see the other one circles round the other way, um, and makes it to. Oh, let's uh, redo really that because they can need to get the same movement. Uh, it's going to circle round to here. So you guys are closed in on either side. How much room must we do? They have. Uh, they've got fifty, and they dashed. Um, so in, in the blink of an eye, you see these things kick. Um, they they kick themselves into the arena. Um, and with, with almost impossible speed, um, there's like a, a sort of like orangey black blur as these things flash through the arena. Um, you sort of see like the, the, the flames in their eyes leave like the um, need for speed neons, like light drags behind them as they run. Um, so you get the I, will, I will mention at that point, those humans were stood on, the, on those big rocks, all nice and juicy looking. Ah, uh, they're further away. <laughs> And they are, they, two of them are hiding as well, so um, we've got one, one that's up on a rock not hiding. I you, agree with Dave. You, you two are the most vulnerable. Um, mm. Also a juice looking dwarf who you might be able to see. One of them did run, it, uh, the north one did run straight past you, Dave, where you were hiding. Oh, I know. Uh, <laughs> I know. I, I'm, I know. I'm... Can I point to Dave? <laughs> <laughs> Look. <laughs> Look, one of the master race, get him. Um, <laughs> Okay, so yeah, um, with that, um, it's now Warlord Tars' turn. Um, there's not really much he's going to do um, other than continue grinning. Um, I suppose... Oh, let me let me get a perception check from him. Uh, oh, I'm still flipping him off. That's what I was going to say. Uh, um, <laughs> it's my free action every time. <laughs> uh, he rolls uh, a three. So no, he's looking into the really, really... He doesn't see... He doesn't see um, nice on the other side of the reader flipping him off. <laughs> Um, then um, next up is the gate. Um, so behind these, behind these um, hellhounds, um, you see that the um, the gate handle is not waiting around. He just hands off the chains, and it clatters closed. Um, uh, so I'll take from him. Um, then next up is our elf friend, um, who um, what is he going to do in this situation? Um, like he's he, he's next to you, um, Janicus. Um, he's sort of you've both got your backs up against this pillar, and he looks across you. This 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 hellhound sweeps for inches in front of the both of you um, to get to the two people that they can see. And there's a moment where he probably just spends his turn like stood next to you, hoping that this thing doesn't turn around. Um, he's actually let's get him to roll a stealth, and he may actually just like, edge around the post. Oh my God. <laughs> Also, um, did that hellhound go through the grease, or has the grease gone now? Uh, it would have had enough movement to move around it. Uh, grease yeah. is still there. Um, we're on turn five of the grease. Uh, it's That's got good five, to know. It's got five more turns. Would a hellhound pound be smart enough to avoid it? Uh, oh, intelligence minus two. Yeah, I'll take it. Let's let's make a check. Um, so the one to the north would have hit grease. Nice one, Steve. Um, so let me check a quick look at these in the SRD. If they were, uh, uh, oh, they are nice. Okay, they're in the SRD, so. Uh, and Greece is just the best spell ever. <laughs> uh, so, a dex check. Uh, so, the one that was a legal roll of that was 18, so no, not phased at all. I, I like to think, like, where, the, where this thing's foot hits the Greece. There's like a kick of steam, you hear a pssst, as immediately like in a circle around its foot, the grease just evaporates. Um, grease from... fire. <laughs> um, these things don't actually have any... Uh, no, there's no languages or there's no touch damage. Um, it's purely narrative steam, it's not actually on fire or anything. Um, I'll just quickly turn off the advantage shit. The grease isn't actually um, flammable anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we can rule it is, but it's not a part of the spell. Mm -hmm. uh, to be honest, I'd rather have the grease down than have like a bit of burning damage. Mm -hmm. 
against an enemy that's probably resistant to it. Right, so um, then, yeah, I think Fink's gonna Fink's gonna attempt to slowly edge out of this situation. He has not got much health left after that tiger mauled him, um, and diving in to save you, chumps, isn't a part of his elven uh, <laughs> part of his elven mantra. Um, one sec, so uh, advantage. Uh, elf, here he is. Stealth. Uh, with 19, and um, that's enough. So yeah, so Meganicus, where you are, you see he looks at you for a second and then just begins slowly disappearing around the side of the pillar um, as he's just going to edge away for a better position. Um, so how much movement has he got? Uh, 30. Um, uh, he's just going to move to the other side of the pillar, I think. Uh, well, the thirty feet could get him. No, I'm just going to move him to the other side of the pillar. Um, so he's just going to break line of sight, uh, and then let's uh, get him hidden. Cool. And then next up is the dwarves who have just finished failing miserably to take down the Torkish plunderer before um, Arceus snapped his neck. Um, what are they going to do? Uh, they've been useless this entire time. Um, I think their best hope is to actually join in. Um, and these guys are soldiers, so let's get them involved in this shit. Uh, what is their movement? Uh, they have... Oh, they're fast for dwarves, 30 feet. Actually, no, it'd be 25 feet because they are dwarves. Um, I just haven't changed it from what they were originally. 25 feet... Uh, they're going to move to here and take a defensive position. So they're all just going to defend, prepare to defend themselves um, in the case of an attack. Excellent. And then uh, Orc Plunder is dead. Ganicus, um, it's now you. Um, uh, your your elven friend has thought better of this situation and has moved away for a uh, uh, moved away to a more advantageous position. I mean, are you going to follow suit, or what, what? What's your tactic going to be? <laughs> Keep hiding. <laughs> You're going to blow that twenty stealth you worked so hard for. Get the sneak attack bonus. You didn't get a sneak attack unless you're yeah, a rogue. No. No, you get advantage Don't on the attack. Me. I think attacking from stealth, you get advantage, but... Oh, um, really? How are you hiding? Uh, he was pressed up against the pillar and it just ran past him, so he's just behind it at the moment. I suppose the one to the south can probably see you, but the one to the north can't. Because they're, they're facing <laughs> um, uh, this way and this way, respectively. So the one that's facing oh. south has got eyeline on you. I, I thought we were talking about Smith's character, not Ganicus. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ganicus is hidden by the pillar. He's probably he's probably still hidden for the purposes just because of the stealth check he got, um, and he can be pressed up against this. Ganicus. You pick up the, you pick up the chain that was previously tying up your compatriots and just sort of hold it in front of you. Let's <laughs> <laughs> crouch down. Um, it's a really shitty situation. Mm -hmm. The dwarves fair, are in. Fair summary. <laughs> Um, so there's a long sword to the north of you, um, stabbed in the ground from where Tars threw it. Um, there's the ornamental sword from the statue, just north of that, um, and then everything else in the arena. I think you, you know about. Um, you've got your two, your um, I wouldn't say compatriots. The two people who you were trying to kill, but two days ago, um, are in the middle of about to be killed by somebody else. The nerve. I gotta uh, take your kill, yeah. <laughs> you're at the you kill stolen. It does uh, make me annoyed. That's true. <laughs> but my, my Elvish compatriot is right in the fact that we wouldn't. So we're not going to get out of here alive if we don't go anymore. Mm -hmm. Like, he, he's bloodied up. Like, that tiger mauled him nearly all the way to death. 
Um, he isn't going to do any benefit by just running in and getting killed. So he's just moved to a more advantageous position. He's waiting for his opportunity. Like, he didn't book it. You saw he just slinked around the other side of the pillar. He's just taken cover. Chance, that's exactly what Danicus would do. So... Mm. Do I need to re-roll any stealth or anything? Um, if I were just to shift around hmm, to good. the other side. Good. Uh, yes, I'd say based on your check, like their passive, their passive perception um, is well underneath what you scored with your twenty-one stealth. Um, so I'm not going to make you re-roll to initiate that. Um, I think this is all happening in tandem. So as they're moving into your arena, you can slink around the other side with your pre-existing stealth check. I'm not going to get you to re-roll it. There's nothing in between you and where it depends where you're going largely if you're going to say run if you're going to run across to a different pillar like if you're going to run around to here then i'd say there's a separate shell check but if you're just moving around to where um to where the other elf is um that's like you know it's, it's 10 feet and you're already hidden so you're not even moving from your hiding spot to do so so i'm not going to make you re-roll for that yeah for this turn i'm, I'm going to shift you around to be next to my elven compatriot okay cool that's fine so yeah move yourself around um and then uh, Smithius. What uh, to do? This, what day, to this do? day is going from strength to strength. Well, we I've... literally have no choice, Smith. We can't even disengage. So. Yeah, I've got no spell slots left. Uh, one of my cantrips is Firebolt. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one, the other one's Frostbite, which I kind of I can't work out if that's going to be good or bad against fire. Uh... Probably just good. Is it just being uh, nullified okay. by fire? Uh, is it going to be good? You've got a good um, uh, history check on these last times, mm -hmm. um, so you you would be aware. The only the only immunity sensitivity we're dealing with is just a immunity to fire, and there's okay. no no resistances and no weaknesses. All right. Well, I might as well cast frostbite then. Nice north south. North, the one the one on me. Cool. Uh, what do I do? Um, uh, so... The D20 again, is it? Uh, I don't know, Frostbite. Let's have a look. I haven't um, seen that spell in a while. Um, Target then... must make a constitution saving for throw. Oh, excellent. Okay, cool. What's the D6? It's to get to your spell save, which is... Um, 12, isn't it? That rings a bell. Uh, 8, plus t 8 plus proficiency, which is 2, plus your int, which again is 2. Um, so let's get these up. Um, is it a single single target cone? What's the, what's the um, what's the hit on it? Uh, one creature that you can see. So yeah, single. Okay, cool. Target. That's fine. Um, you... I'm the only one at this point during the song that it sounds to them like they're singing chicken chicken soup. <laughs> I can't unhear it. I, I hear it now. Yeah. 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 Chicken soup. Right, George, now, now we can't unhear that. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to share that with a lot of you. <laughs> uh, constitution save. Uh, there it goes. Uh, it crits. Naturally. <laughs> um, so, what's, is there a is there a half damage or is it just nothing for a save? Uh, I think it's just nothing. Yeah, on a fa on a failed save, it takes whole damage. No. So nothing. So yeah. So what does it look like when you cast this? So what's um? How, what does it look like when you cast? What's the name of the spell again? It's um. Frostbite. Frostbite. So what, what does it look like for the purposes From, of? I think. It? Rubbing hands together and blowing into it. Like, yeah, <laughs> like, like you're trying to warm them up. So yeah, we yeah. like so the steam as if you've got like cold breath. Um, slowly yeah. the, 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 the um air sort of films with light steam, and when you 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 press it you press it towards the um the hellhound, but. It just sort of dissipates immediately, like between in the space between where the hellhound is, you can sort of see like an inch away from the surface, and the temperature is just too great, and, and, and it it just completely dissipates. And um, there's probably sort of like moisture all down the side of your hand where you press it out, and it immediately um, condenses, um, and your hand is sort of wet with moisture um, instead of the the cold and ice that you would have had from um, the spell going the spell going successfully. Mm -hmm. Anything else Not on your idea. turn? Um, your, robot, um, your robot girls, uh, a, a robot, your robot the... of indeterminate gender, um, is away to the <laughs> is away to the east. Get um, her over here. <laughs> yeah, I want. Uh, <coughs> robot girl can attack the um, handcuffs. Actually, I feel like I'm about to be dead weight. So, 
<laughs> Super noble. I appreciate you trying to free me from your corpse, but I'll just cut off your arm if that happens. <laughs> so I would rather you use the Robo Girl's turn to, to hit, especially since some of our allies are being cowards. <laughs> Makes no sense because he's definitely not gonna be like, okay, they're dead. Oh, I guess call them off and let the others live because or orcs are well known for loving cowards. So it's just the dumbest fucking idea I've ever heard. But uh, I won't name any names. I mean, you're a low, the, the people in front of me are a lower race anyway. So, and I would like. Great, you know they'll be lowered into the ground seconds before you are. So. Yes, they will. I'm sensing a bit of salt. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so what was, uh, what's going to be? I don't really want to lose. I don't really want to lose an arm if I'm down. Um, no, no, no. I didn't. I meant if you literally yeah. died, I would cut it off. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna. Yeah. I'm not gonna cut off your arm if you're only unconscious. <laughs> but then you Jesus can use N Nadine's pretty ruthless, but she's not that mean. Can you? Oh, wait, can you like, not get away? Oh. Can you basically not get away from them anyway? No, 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 no. I, I like running is not even if you disengage from one of them, the other is still within five feet. All right, so I might as well attack then. Yeah. Uh, disengaging doesn't just work on one creature, does it? It just works in general. You can disengage yeah. from. You oh, take okay. it's, it's only if you're moving into multiple like creatures. So you, you it's not like we can particularly run fast anyway. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's okay. more like these things are just yeah, just... run you. Yeah. I'll even just, if we uh... had full movement, they outrun us, and we don't have full movement. I'll yeah, double up on this top one then. After the icy beating he just took. Yeah. You sure showed uh, him. Okay, so the robot girl's gonna come in. Uh, before, beside you, behind it, where are you gonna move her to? Uh, just beside it. So sort of like uh, here. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Nice. Okay. Um, uh, what am I doing? So you're gonna roll your attack. Yeah. Have I done anything? No. Uh, yeah. Uh, 15. Which is exactly what you needed to roll. Uh, roll up hey the damage. Roll. Uh, 1d8 plus 2. Oh, I can click it in chat now, can't I? Yeah, All so right. click on the word forced and powered rend in chat um, to roll up the attack. Ooh. Nice, eight damage. Nice. Cool. Um, so yeah, so the cat gets its claws out. So we said previously that it isn't Nadine, but it's, uh, it's clawed hands, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, this, this thing comes hurtling towards you. I mean, it's like, this thing, you can see that it's more open. You, you extend an icy hand out to try and halt it, but it doesn't slow the pace at all. And this thing continues encroaching on you. A second before it hits you, um, cat what comes flying in from the side to save you. Um, and sort of clatters into the side of this thing's neck and you see that it diverts. The bite that was going to chomp your face for a second time strays a, a couple of inches wide and then these two things scrabble in front of you. You sort of see the, the hellhound rears up and this cat's just all around its neck and head, scrabbling and just clawing down on it, trying to get it away from its master. Excellent. A slight double take from the hellhound, like, what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this thing. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, next up is the commoners. Um, so I think the one who isn't hidden is going to attempt to do so. Um, uh, so let's just roll a d20 for him. <laughs> Fucking miserably. So no, he's down, but he's not hidden. So <laughs> he attempts to get down off the rocks, but you you all just hear like a clattering of like a, a rock slide of all these small stones as he tries to get off the top, knocks a large rock out, and just this, <laughs> you just hear him shambling down from the top into the back. So um, it's immediately apparent to everyone where he is. Um... <laughs> Nadine, it is now, you're now up. Mm. Hello! Oh. <laughs> Cute. What to do? Alright, I think... Lightning lure, it's worked well so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, why does it have to be a strength saving throw? I'm sure it's <laughs> ridiculous strength. <laughs> I think you just can't switch that spell out at next level. It's just <laughs> I really might. <laughs> if we ever get there. 
Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I don't really have. I can't cast any of my uh, damaging level one spells, unfortunately. They all got material component, do they? Yep. Which is like, and it's material that is like ridiculously easy to have, like bits of rotten food. You know what I mean? But oh, really? That's one. Of the, is that why you're looking for one of those? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, okay. Uh. Anyway, I guess I will just use lightning lure again. Nice. Okay, cool. So, which one are we going for? Uh, the top one. Top one, okay. Focusing damage. Uh, so, it's a strength save, did you say? Yep. Uh, cool. There's your save. 13? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Finally. So yeah, too big to miss. So for the first time, Nadine, what is it like when when Lightning Lord does not fuck up royally? Uh, <laughs> so I think it, it like uh, especially against these things, it would like wrap around their neck like a the collar of a dog, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and then like send a shockwave through their entire body. Nice. Okay. As I so i could pull them towards me but i don't really want to do that i mean like they're already within five feet anyway so 1d8 damage yeah it's already five it's already within five feet of you yeah here we go show me all right four four damage excellent cool so yeah so just just as um cat dives on the back of this thing and lash around you you man you, you seek your you see the opening and extend lightning lure and we sort of get it in slow motion because it's happened yeah. so poorly so previously this thing whips out and then catches it around the neck we resume normal speed and there's just we sort of see these the these sort of like pulses of lightning going all over the back of this um this nice. hellhound as you charge it uh, it was four you said wasn't it yep excellent and then I'll, i will use my uh bonus action to tell rts to get his metal button gear mm -hmm. move forward which uh, one? like, you know, five feet. <laughs> yeah, which one are you attacking, north or south? Just, uh, north again. Just, north again. just p trying to pummel this thing to death before he gets the chance to rip one of us asunder. Okay, cool, that's fine. So he'd have to move, um, he's the other side of Smithius there, so you'd have to move yeah. him either, um, there's sort of a space there or there, if you're going to attack the north mm. one. Uh, where do you want to go? Did you say there's space right there? Yeah, yeah, you could be between okay, yes. Smithius and I Catbot. definitely do that. Cool. Um, and then... Uh, sorry, just on Nadine's turn, where can I... How, how close do I have to stay to Smith? Uh, you, you have to be adjacent, so within five feet, basically. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just... Uh, you, 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 you're, between, you're within five feet of both of them anyway, so you're kind of pinned unless you're going to disengage. No, 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 I'm not disengaging. I would just... Uh, Trying to angle myself in, in, ca in, in, ca in case hellhounds who are known for breathing fire decide to breathe fire on an immense group of people, I might avoid that said fire. Cool. Uh, and then so Artius is going to attack, yes. I'm assuming? He is indeed. He's going to use his beautiful force punch. Let's go. Just looked at my uh, robot character sheets and I forgot my bird was named Homo. <laughs> <laughs> Homo the homunculus. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's what it stands for, obviously. Uh, 15. 15. That's a hit. Money, money, money. Oh. Five. Five damage. Nice. All right, we're 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 chipping. <laughs> Slowly getting there. Um, next fish, up, fish and chip damage. Next up, the camera pans round, and we, we start off on a single, single extended middle finger. Um, Is it mine <laughs> towards this idiot that shot a ballista towards the orc person? <laughs> uh, nice. What's going on on your turn? We sort of the, scroll down to where you are. Um, so so you're, you're down with this rack with all of the spears. Um, yeah. How many spears are there again? I forgot. Uh, there's three. Okay. And can I just grab all of them and then run? Uh, Pointer. Oh, how do I do the? Oh, it's right click, isn't it? Yeah, pick them up and then right click. So uh, half movement to scoop them up, um, or an action depending on how you want to spend it, um, mm -hmm. and then um, yeah, that's it from there. Half movement to pick them up. 
Okay. Um, I guess... What happens then if I dash? Do I get one 45 feet? Yeah, one and a half. You would get okay. your movement speed. You, you, you wouldn't spend half of the dash movement. It's half of your regular movement. Okay, so I'm going to move up to here then. And then... I just say, I've got weapons! Um, and I guess that's all I can really do. And then I'm going to... Uh, bonus action, command wife to attack this one. So, on her turn, she'll move up to here, and then do a force empowered rend on it. Uh, excellent. So you're moving up right to the right. Okay, cool. Ooh, 19. 19, yeah, roll up your damage. Nice. Nine, excellent. So yeah, heavy hit. Um, I think this is the first time we've seen wife attack something, isn't it? Yeah. Um. So you see her sort of like move, like sword points kind of almost like dancing, like a bit ballerina-esque, like right. skirting around the enemy. Um, and then she just brings like a, a sword arm just across, slicing down the side of the beast. Nice, it's sort of like as she passes it, as if, mm -hmm. as if part of the dance, this foot comes slicing across. And we see it like cuts a perfect red line across the side. And when we see slowly where, where the cut is, like the, the brightness slowly increases as we see um, whatever um, flammable liquid is inside begins to get closer to the surface. Excellent. You just hear you hear nice go. I am an artiste. <laughs> nice. Uh, now we are back round, so um, we are onto the hellhounds. So let's have a quick look. What can we do? Um, uh, a lot of damage. Okay, cool. Um, so I think the first one, um, having been attacked by wife, is going to turn in her direction. Um, yep, um, and it's going to be breathe fire to the right. Um, so let's have a 15 foot cone. Hmm, I think I'm going to say you're just outside of that. Nice. I'm going to be, I'm going to be generous and say that the 15 foot cone, it is going to hit that. Dwarf, though. Um, so, uh, I need a DC 12 dexterity save, please, um, from Wife. Ooh, okay. um, and another one from this dwarf. Come on, Wife. Ah. 11. Uh, and then <coughs> the dwarf. Oh, he's oh, so fucking dead. dead. Oh, dead. <laughs> um, so, no, no, no joy. So, here comes the fire breath. Uh, and then it's 66 66 uh, <laughs> slash roll 66 do the robots take half damage from fire no unfortunately not uh so 24 oh. damage 24 damage wife has 21 hit points oh no <laughs> so she's down so yeah, so in a, in a ball of flames, we just sort of see it engulfs, and that's going to be well more than the this dwarf has as well. Um, is he an empty pair of boots? He is, yes. So yeah, so we see this thing turns to the right. After being slashed to the side, its head whips round. I mean, you see its maw opens wide, and this fire, this fire kicks out um, in like a, almost like a perfect cone. And we sort of see, like, it, it, it sort of roars like a jet engine. Um, as you sort of hear like... <laughs> Um, and then as, as the, the flames emerge, we can see where Wife was. Um, uh, she's all blackened. Was there any fabric on Wife at all? Did you did you have her dressed at all, Steve? Um, I'm assuming that they took it. If okay. they took the the nice stuff that um, that I was wearing, then they would have taken hers as well. Nice. So yeah, so they, um, uh, we sort of see any, any flammable liquid inside of her um, is immediately ignited. Um, and we see from a couple of points, it explodes outward, shards of metal. Um, the, the, you see that one of the, um, the Dwarven brothers sort of takes a step to the side and um, inches away from him, his brother being swiped almost completely out of existence. Um, as soon as the, the light flashes down, you can see there's just like a triangle of a black scorch mark on the floor um, <laughs> out from where this thing is. Um, and this, the, the Dwarf's just completely gone. Um, there's no empty pair of shoes. There's no remnants of him. Um, he's just no longer in the space that he was in previously. And um, wife only saved by the fact that she was made of sort of metal, metal and um, non-organic materials. 
Um, uh, so he is well and truly uh, dead. He is splattered. Uh, I'm actually just going to delete him. He's gone. Um, excellent. And then we've got one more of these to do. Um, so I think this is going to hit 15 foot cone. Um, I've got to choose how to angle this. Surely he wants to cook the dwarves. <laughs> There's more targets there, yeah. So I think Smithius is going to be spared, but nobody else is. Yeah, I can hit four targets or... Hmm. Yeah, both Cat and Artius did damage as well. Um, so yeah, it's definitely going to be these three to the right who get it. Um, oh so uh, Smithy's BRB. So let's BRB quickly. Um, as okay. well. I'll take a quick comfort break because Smithy's going to need to roll some stuff. Um, and then we'll rejoin when he's back. Oh, I can see him. No, okay, let's just take a quick comfort break anyway. Um, and then okay. we'll re rejoin and see how many of the rest of the party get taken out by this. All right. Are we dead yet? Uh, some of us are. My wife's dead. Hi, how are you holding up there? <laughs> I can make another one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just waiting for She, she falls on the phone, you go, replaceable. <laughs> <laughs> Don't damage my property. <laughs> A mild inconvenience. The annoying thing is I don't have mending. <laughs> so how would you repair if you don't have mending? Uh, I need to keep the spell slot, basically. Gotcha. So actually, I don't know if we can get them back up with mending or not. I don't, think I don't believe can. so. Yeah. I think you have to spend a spell slot if they go down. Mm -hmm. Ah, I see. How, how um, wide is the fire breath? It's a 15 foot cone, so it's narrow at the closest point and then just fans out from there. So I've and not been too stupid standing where I am, Robo no. Boy. No, I, I said just before we get back, so it's, 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 it's going to just miss you. I haven't rolled anything up yet. Um, once Matt gets back, we'll, we'll jump back into it. We'll skip back a few seconds and then we'll, we'll jump back in. I'm back. Ooh. Nice, cool. So let's dive back in. So recount in the last few seconds. I think we sort of see. Um, I think the the prior to the commercial break is this thing, t this 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 hellhound turning to the right, and we sort of see it, the flame breath comes towards camera, um, and everything bumps out to white. Um, as we come back after the commercial break for some um, Bud Light, or is it called <laughs> for some Bud Light, and um, we see that there's a. <laughs> We sort of see this top-down view for a moment, and there's this perfect triangle out from where the um, out from where the hellhound is scorched black on the floor. We see the horrified face of a dwarf. Um, we can sort of see the shoulder of his sack clothes has been burnt off. I mean, there's just an empty space where his brother was previously stood. Um, the camera pans a bit further around, and we see that wife um, is sort of like a. a a scorched heap sort of laying on her side. Um, in the background of the shot, we would see Nice. Um, nice, what, is, there, is there any reaction to a wife being cooked? Or is it hard to tell with him because he's kind of expressionless? What's the, what's the reaction to wife? No, being wife is still flipping off Tars. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like he's got one hand, arm full of pulp, uh, spears and then the other one's up there. And any he any extra down. vigor now? Or? He just kind of looks down and goes, Inconvenient. Uh, nice. Okay. Also, can we please appreciate like the the the, the flash of flames and then it's like feeling hot, cool off with a nice bud like. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect segue into the commercial. I like yeah. to, I like to think like somewhere around the edge of the arena, it's sort of like this. It's like a like it's the Super Bowl. Some of the banners, like most of them are like torn dwarven banners or like flesh, mm -hmm. like like orcish things where it's like skinned <laughs> dwarves. But there's a couple with like torn, bl tattered blue banners that very clearly have like the Bud Light logo yeah, yeah, just yeah. <laughs> embroidered into them. <laughs> My dream is for like one random Bud Light employee to find these videos <laughs> and be like, these guys really love Bud Light. <laughs> nice. Okay, so yeah, I think then the, sec the second of the two um, Hellhounds turns to its side um, and it's going to scorch the, the two Steel Defenders, the one that did the damage, and there's two Dwarves to cook there as well. Um, so, um, same again. 
um, I am going to need um, a deck save um, uh, from Arteus, from Robot, from Robot Catgirl, and then two from the dwarves. Um, let's get the dwarves out of the way first. Um, Did either of them not attack this round, or not take an action? Uh, they both attacked, so neither of them are dodging. Um, uh, so first up is the dwarf. Let's get him out of the way. Uh, that's a fail. Oh, and a success. So the one to the north, I'm going to say, um, is the one who survive is the one who succeeds. Uh, and then uh, Artius, Catgirl. Let's. Uh, it's a deck save. It's a deck save, please. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, what am I? Oh, I've both rolled oh, eleven. I presume both. I presume both of mine failed. Uh, I rolled a twelve and then an eleven. I press it twice. Okay. Yeah. So, um, hold on. Another twelve. It's a DC twelve. I think. Put it. Put it. Uh, it's in the chat there. It's a DC twelve. So that's a success, isn't it? So yeah. No. Oh. As, um. Uh, so, so. Question: Can we use uh the steel defender's deflect attack thing? Uh, let's bring it up. Can you click on it to put it into the chat? For uh, it's you not know? an attack roll. Oh, right, it's just damage. It, it's yeah, it, it gives disadvantage, so it won't. That's fine, never mind. Right, okay, yeah, so this is a yeah, this is a, a dodge, so no, it doesn't. Um, you can spend an inspiration if you've got one, Matt, to roll again, but um, that's Ooh. kind of the extent of what you can do. Mm. Do I want to spend it? Yeah, you know what? Let's try it. Come on. Money! Son of a bitch. No, four. Um, that doesn't do it, unfortunately. You want to spend another, or are you? No. You spend. I'll take it. <laughs> All in. Cool. Right. So here comes the, here comes the damage, guys. Um, so here comes the pain. My favorite bit. Uh... Oh, it's not going to do it. So I'll just roll it in chat. Bam. Enjoy. <laughs> Twenty-five damage. Um, so halves oh. for anybody who succeeded succeeded their check. I'm rounded down. Um, uh, oh. So, so it's twelve damage for how um, many who succeeded, um, which is well, enough to I keep think... one of the orcs, one of the dwarves alive. Um, the I'm other dead one... anyway, aren't I? Then uh... you're on. Wait, oh, you're no, on. Well, because of the uh, non retconned men, I'm okay. Uh, yeah, I guess I said twelve, twelve damage, and whatever that takes you down to, uh, so minus seven, twelve. And then he is evaporated. Um, Arteus, I'm guessing, doesn't survive that much damage. Nope. No, so Arteus is. Um, let's get this out of the way. Arteus is cooked. Uh, and along with this. As a free, free action, as he bursts into flames, you just hear. I seem to be on fire. Oh my! <laughs> 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 nice. So, yes, yeah, so the There's a bright flash, and then where where the um, um, uh, the cat sort of swipes to one side, and the the flame catches across one side, one the one side of it. Um, so I think like an, a similar distribution to Smithius's scar. This cat gets a black scorch around its shoulder and one side of its face. Um, the, one of the dwarves is completely disintegrated, and Arteus is when the flash comes down. Arteus is sort of stood in the spot, sparking slightly. I appear to be on fire, and then just topples over backwards. I'm going to kick, kick more of more sparks and a couple of spats of oil. Um, and I think that's it for the moment. The pain is uh, subsiding for another round. Um, it's now Warlord Tars's turn. Um, let's get another perception check from him. Uh, uh, with uh, 21, he sees you nice, and you see that he, he slowly raises. <laughs> but he's, he's grinning back at you. You can see there's a wide smile on his face as he's just cooked a load of the robots. Um, and he, and he, he raises a single finger at you. <laughs> does, he, does he respect the, uh, the, the spirit? Uh, roll a charisma check, please, nice. Oh, God, that is no. Uh, <laughs> just straight charisma? Yeah, just straight charisma. A perform Ooh. performance if you're trained in it. No. Uh, eight. No, he just. <laughs> Two points above my charisma score. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, <laughs> he, th he he doesn't. He just. He still just 
enjoying, relishing your uh, impending doom. Like, what a funny little robot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next up is um, uh, the elf. So he turns to you, Ganicus. Um, and as with previously, he's always like, what do we do? Now we attack. Now's the time, okay. Um, uh, sweet, so yeah, he's gonna, he still trusts you, so he's gonna do exactly that. Um, so he, he gives a curt nod, um, and then you see he disappears around the other side of the pillar, running to the south. Um, for a moment, he's out of your view, and then he streaks back across, and you can see he's got sword sword held back behind his back, and he lunges um, towards the um, the north of the two hellhounds, with its back facing in the other direction. Um, he's spotted the opportunity with it facing the other way. Um, you see the blade flips around in his hands, and he goes to plunge it into the back, the same as he did with the tiger. Uh, and then... Let's see how he does that. Uh, it's the same. Different damage, but it's the same as his unarmed. He crit fails. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, so, yeah, no, you see, he, he comes streaking across, but um, he's got some... Oh, he has got some oil to go through. Um, so I think it's exactly... Is he going to stab himself? Uh, he slips and well, he's got enough himself. to just go around the edge there. Yeah, no, I think he does. He just go around. He does go around then. Um, where are we? Uh, let me move this out of the way. He already knows about the oil. Yeah, he does. So yeah, he would. He would. <laughs> he does have enough movement. Yeah, he's got enough to move around. Um, he comes skirting around. You see, he slides to one side. But I think the the S that he took to um get around the other side of the oil and um, kicks his balance off. Um, and so what we can do with crit fail, let's, um, do we still have our fumble table? I think we do, don't we? I don't uh, know where it is. Uh, I think we've got it. Let me just quickly check. I'm pretty sure I've got a copy of it here. So if I can pull it up. Let's, uh, you know, you were talking about helping earlier. Yes. Mm -hmm. How does that work? Do you... So you give another creature advantage on an attack, um, against the creature that's within five feet of you. So you basically distract. So anything that it wants mm -hmm. to attack, the next person who wants to attack it gets advantage to do so. Um, hey, well, I think the an way that... that occurs after your turn. Yeah, I think the way I can like jump in now and say which creature it's attack it is. Okay, cool. Uh, we had it up a second ago. I'll, I'll bring it back up in a moment. Um, let's just quickly see if I've got. Uh, but I can jump in here because it's before my turn. That's correct. You have to do it on your turn as your action. You take the help action. It's like an alternative. It's like taking a dodge action um, or taking a hide action. Um, it's just another option for your your turn. Uh, no, I don't think. Let me just double check. I've got a little piece of paper here. So one of them may very well be our fumble table. Uh, just double check if it is, then we'll use it. If not, then we'll... Carry on. Uh, no, it does not appear to be it. It'll be downstairs, so... Let's just bring this up. Right, my, my frostbite cantrip... Uh... Gives disadvantage on the next weapon attack. Does that literally mean with a weapon, or would like? Well, what, what, what does it mean by weapon attack? Does it literally mean a weapon or any kind of like? Uh, they'll they'll attack? have um their weapons will be natural weapons, so it'll still affect that. Okay. Uh, no, we don't have anything there, so I'm just going to say that he he catches the corner of the uh, catches the corner of the grease and falls prone. Um, uh... Ha ha ha! <laughs> uh, so yeah, cool. Uh, so then, uh, Ganicus, he didn't actually good. He didn't. He didn't do too well. Um, no, we didn't. <laughs> he stood right. He stood uh, directly he... where I was intending to go to. So that's just fantastic. Um. Okay. Well. <sighs> Well done. What's his name? Fink. Uh, yeah, you don't know his name yet. He's just a, no, no, a named elf. Um, right, okay. So I'm going to... I've just been weighing it up. So... There, there is, there's, there's space for you to stand between him and Robot Girl. You can still attack it without standing in the grease, if that's what you're concerned about. No, no. 
So basically I've got I'm trying to move so I'm ten foot within reach of the Hellhound, but not of say for instance Nadine. Well obviously sorry Fink. But um hang on. So I'm gonna move to about here. Mm-hmm. Oh, what bait's that? Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, I, I intend to be ten foot away, over ten foot away from the from uh, Nadine, but ten foot within to the Hellhound. Yeah. And I'm going to use my final key point to unleash my astral arms. Nice. Okay. So that's so just that, a load of load of load of attacks, isn't it? No. So that's I grow two extra arms from the astral plane. Mm -hmm. So they, these are so. That, Outward prop in a in a whirl of force damage, or like a almost like a sonic boom. Imagine a sonic boom. Out will come some ethereal, almost tiger-like arms, tiger-like paws. And firstly, anyone within ten feet of me must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or take force damage. So uh, that will be the hellhound. Nice. But, but, but also maybe think. Does that mean Fink has disadvantage? Uh, yeah, uh, prone. Is that dex saves? Uh, let's just double check. Saves. As, as a free action, I say, I'm sorry, brother. Uh, <laughs> like, you're like, yeah, go attack, go attack. And be attacked. <laughs> no, it doesn't say anything about. Um, I regret dex. it, he, he said can, coldly. You can still make dex saves on Impo. It's, it's movement, oh, yeah. attack rolls, and it's just it just affects attack rolls. So he can still. He's got high dex, so um, he may well be alright. Um, uh, so what's, uh, where is this one? I'm trying to spot this in the... So it's in Tasha's Cauldron. So yeah, I'm looking at it here. Oh, out arms of the, the astral self. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, you get each creature within 10 feet of you. Uh, force damage equal to two rolls of your martial arts dice. Got it. Cool. Nice. That's fine. So well, let's do Fink first. Um, I've got him here. Um, deck save, wasn't it? Yeah. He's a dexterous Bar boy. Thing. He's gonna crit fail again. Seventeen. Look at that, easy. No nice. Trouble. Um. <laughs> so you, you say sorry, brother, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Um. Does he sound sorry? Roll a. Yeah. Let's 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 do. You, do you sound genuinely sorry, or is this a? It would be genuine, yeah. If I if I were to injure a fellow elf, I wouldn't be happy with myself, but these okay. must. Okay, um, can you quickly roll a perception for me, please, Gannicus? Or an insight, um, whichever you're better trained in. Nice. Can. Uh, 22, nice, okay. Um, so you you say sorry, brother, and you, you see, what, is, what does it look like for you with these astral arms? What's the actual physical appearance of it, you said? So, like I say, there are these two ethereal swirling uh tiger-like paws nice so yeah you, you say sorry brother as these paws slowly materialize behind you um, and you see a very like you see a look of recognition in um fink's eyes like he's seen you know that he's seen this before um and that's reflected in his savers he knows exactly he knows to get the fuck out of the way um where he is on the floor you see he rolls um out of, and just just getting out of range with these flailing claws um let's see if the tiger has and the ability, the, sorry, the Hellhound has the ability to do the same. Uh, Hellhound, uh, deck save, there it goes. 11. Um, XTC. 10 plus your wisdom, I assume. Ah, in that case, it'll be 13 then, my, if it's 10 plus wisdom, my wisdom is 13. 8 plus proficiency plus wisdom, should be. Yeah. I, I'm assuming, unless Astral Self does it differently. Yeah, I'm just having a look. I've got the spell here. I think it's just, it just says. Da -da 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 -da. It just says succeed as dexterity saving throw, blah, 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 blah. In that case, it'll be based on whatever yeah, martial arts says. Yeah, it doesn't mention it, so it'll just be your. Um, your spell save, um, which is just going to be, as you say, it's um, 8 plus plus two, so basically ten plus your spellcasting modifier, which I think is wisdom as a um, it is, yeah. as a monk, so yeah. Um, so eleven doesn't do it. It um, fails. 
So yeah, roll up. Um, so two of your martial arts dice. So do you know what the, your your dice are at the moment? They are two d four. Well, that would be two d four, I should say. Nice. Yeah, roll it up. On the right hand side, I don't include my. What can I, do I include my? It doesn't say that I include my damage bonus. It no, no, it's, no, it's just just equal to two of your martial arts dice. Uh, four damage. Nice. Ooh. One sec. Yeah, okay, cool, that's fine. So yeah, four damage. Uh, I'll add that up. Uh, chipping away. Oops. And then, as that was only a bonus attachion to unleash my arms, I will attack the oh. Hellhound. And with my oh. astral arms, I can attack from... Hang on. Uh, but it's an extra five... Extra... Extra, an extra five feet plus on top of what your attack would have been anyway. Yeah. Right. So, so you can be ten foot away. So yeah, from the same spot, you can continue attacking. Yeah, I... nice. Fifteen. Monks be, that's, monks be that's intense. A hit. That's a hit. Doesn't monkey around. Uh, for six, uh, six bludgeoning damage. Nice. If it, I don't think it makes a difference, but with the arms, it'll be six force damage. Nice. Okay, no, it doesn't make any damage. So no, no, no. Um, unless it's fire damage, there's no difference to different types on this thing. All right. Excellent. Okay. Um, so yeah, in a, in a flurry of these, uh, so what we said, like astral, is there like a coloring to these? What do these tiger arms look like? So they they kind of look translucent. Translucent. Okay. Nice. So um, you can so see the the pattern of the tiger, like the the stripes, mm -hmm. but they're they're not quite fully for fully there. You know, nice. So like we can just see like the, the light bouncing off them, but no coloration from the the actual claws themselves. Yeah. Love it. Cool. Uh, next up is Smithius. Um, everything's going to shit around you. There's a flurry of tiger arms, yeah. uh, transparent tiger arms. Everybody, uh, everybody to your right has just been simultaneously cooked. Um, you're in the thick of it where you are. You're so, you, it feels um, it's beginning to feel like you're kind of in the eye of the storm where you are between these two hellhounds. <laughs> um, all of a sudden, seems to be the safest spot. Mm. How, how's uh, the hellhound looking, by the way? He's taking quite a bit of damage. He's not enjoying it. So the one to the north, the one to the south, has only taken one hit. Um, yeah, so yeah. he just has the gash down inside, but the one to the north um, is starting to look worse for wear. Um, you're mm. wearing him down. Um, Good. Pretty un unimaginative, but I don't know what else I can do other than frostbite again. Nice. Got uh, it. Uh, so it's a uh, save, wasn't it? Was it? Uh, yeah, constitution saving. Con save. Enjoy. There it goes. Be shit. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, unfortunately. Um, again, the same as before. Um, you, you try to concentrate more power into your hand to um, uh, to freeze this thing, but there's still too much heat coming off it. The ambient temperature around this uh, around this beast is too high for you to cool it to the point you need to do any damage. Hmm. Okay. Not ideal. Uh, so you've still got your ro your steel defenders still up. You yeah. Got, you've got the one remaining steel defender. <laughs> Fuck him up. <laughs> It's Ren time. 17? Yeah. Ooh, he's so, doing well. Oh, who was that big big eight? Uh, so click on the attack in oh. chat. There we go. Oh, nice. Damage. Oh, nice. nice. <laughs> Smith. Excellent. 10 damage. So yeah, that's a, a mighty hit. So as with previously... Catboy is smashing it. Yeah, having previously been scrabbling over this thing, it gets thrown off its back momentarily. But you see it lands in the dirt, so now one side of it all scorched up from where it took a flame. It slides it slides a few feet backwards and immediately leaps back onto this thing. It like latches onto the dog's face. Um, and we can just sort of see it's clawing and scratching at it. Um, we sort of see, we get like a close-up of one hand where it just claws down the eye of this thing, um, leaving three three gouges down the face as it does. Uh, minus ten damage. We're really making it there. So this thing's nearly down. Um, you think it's, it's having a very distressing time at the moment. Uh, next up is the commoners. Um, who... They're, they're not doing anything. Nadine, you're up. Hmm. Alright. Oh, God. Hmm. <laughs> What do I want to do here? 
ecco beh va che non mi esce eh ecco I guess light oh wait did did we get the weapons from what's his name yet from Ni nice did you give us the weapons no I'm you, holding you, them you can take them from me you can take but... them but you have to get there I can't move that far <laughs> with the smithiest. Um, how, I mean, with that... some measuring, you could move to alongside Smithius and still be within range of both of these, theoretically. But I don't think you'd be within range of... Uh, yeah, you'd, nice. you'd still be within five feet of them here, but you wouldn't be within five foot of Nice. Yeah. Hmm... So you can okay. move closer to him. You can move the other side of Smithius, um, but you, yeah, you, as I say, you can't get within reach of Nice to actually grab a weapon. Yeah, that's fine. Um. What do I want to do here? I guess I just need the lightning lure again. It's really not ideal, but. Nice. Hey ho. Yeah. Didn't, All right. didn't fail you for the first time last time, so Laura, yeah. Laura, Laura, so sh surely this is gonna <laughs> work again the second time. So strength DC, they need uh, attacking the top one, of course. Cool. He's going down. Oh. Nice. Yep. Yeah. Needs a fourteen to pass, so it fails. Excellent. All right. Show me the the hero eight on the D eight here. God damn it. Two. And it's just a flat D8, is it? No pluses? Mm, yeah, it's just a flat D8. Lightning Lure is really, like, when I read it, I was like, oh, this is fucking rad, but, like, it actually sucks giant balls compared to most of the other cantrips. <laughs> well, it's still a cantrip, and it's got it's got some crowd control built in. Um, yeah, like... It's, it's, it's a bit yeah. situational. You need low-strength low, low strength creatures for it to be really effective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I guess, like, I kind of wasn't... Intending this to be my main damage, either. <laughs> mm, just happened to be the one you don't need a material component yeah. for. Yeah. Oh, Excellent. well. Um, so then, anything else on your turn, Nadine? Um, Do you mourn the loss of Arteus? A little, yeah. I mean, like, I'll just rebuild him. But <laughs> like, <it's... laughs> I, I, I'm well... Other people might not know that he's just a mechanical being, but I'm well aware of it. Um, <laughs> but... Why am I the only one attached to my robo boy? <laughs> I mean, I'm attached to Arteus, you know what I mean? But like, it's it's almost like I'll be like, I'll just revive him, you know what I mean? It's like, uh -huh. I'll just, uh, you know, Phoenix down him after the fight. <laughs> uh, do With my history check, do I know how well Hellhounds listen? Uh, yes. Uh, in, in what sense? Really sorry. good listeners, yeah, very yeah. sensitive. Uh, well, <laughs> Yeah, they've got uh, advantage. They've got keen hearing and smell, so they have advantage on hearing on... Um, on um... So, I, I more meant, like, dogs are all trainable. You know what I mean? Oh. Are uh, hellhounds also trainable? No, uh, only if you speak infernal. I sure as fuck do! I'm a tiefling. Oh, do you speak infernal? Yes. <laughs> okay, cool. That's the one language they, they understand but don't speak infernal. That's the one language they understand. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to speak Infernal to the bottom one. Uh, it'll still sound, like, the, the voice will sound like it came from, from Arteus's burning remains. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm going to speak Infernal. Hmm, what do I want to say here? Sit. Down boy. Roll up newspaper. No. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately combusts. <laughs> okay, hang on. Can I also use my history check before I speak? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do Hellhounds specifically target weaker or stronger opponents? Uh, they don't have a preference, I believe. Um, let me just double check. I'm just wondering because a lot of like pack animals will like target the weakest shit possible. They do, they favor the weakest prey, actually specifically says here. Hellhounds hunt in packs, feeding on any creature that appears edible. 
They avoid potentially dangerous foes in favor of targeting the weakest prey with the savage bite and fiery breath. Yes. Relentless right. determination. So I, I'm going to say in Inferno, uh, why fight for your life when there's three easy snacks behind the rock over there? <laughs> okay. Um, roll a persuade. Show me the uh, money. Or animal handling, either one if you're trained in either. Yeah. Persuade or animal handling? Mm -hmm. I will do persuasion. It's going to need to be a high roll. <sighs> it's already in the thick of this. All right. Hold the natural 20, all right? <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Get fucked! <laughs> so, yeah. You, 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 it's, from this, like, flaming mold, you sort of see, like, it's probably nature of the fact that these things are actually normally in the service of devils and the like. Mm -hmm. So, there's this smoldering mound of a corpse that begins talking to the uh, that begins talking to the uh, the hellhound to the south. Um, as if it's instructed by one of its masters, you see, um, it turn over to the side, and the one the one human who crit failed his stealth check at that moment is like peering out from behind <laughs> the rock, um, and you see his eyes dart. This thing looks over in his direction, um, and yeah, exactly that. I think on its turn, it's it's going over there. Oh, <laughs> a ship's kiss. Didn't even need an inspiration for that one. You know, where's my inspiration? <laughs> All right, I'm done now. Whew. Cool. Yeah, excellent. Um, nice. It's your turn. Wait, which one was that? Was that the lower or the upper? Uh, the one to the south. The one that has barely been damaged, so we so, can kill, we yeah, can so, spend our time killing the other one. So yeah, it's by nature of the fact that because it's why what he said is like why why fight for your death when the other one's clearly about to be murdered. Um, it's like why why die with your die with the, this other one when you can go and get an easy meal around the back of that rock. And I gonna I want to get to here. So on, on the way past, when I'm about here, I just want to toss two of the spears down in front of Smithius. Uh, where are you moving to? I can't, I haven't seen you move on the map yet. Oh, okay. So I'm going to move up to here first. Yeah. Drop down the two spears like next to Smithius, keeping one for myself. Yeah. Uh, and then I should have been able to get to here. Um, and when I drop them, Smith, I say... Um, actually... Never mind. I'm just going to go here. And I'm going to take the remaining spear and cast Catapult, and I want to <laughs> go straight through the middle there so that I don't hit anybody other than this one. Uh, okay, yeah, so you're... you're yeah. Okay, that's fine. So you're, you're, you're aiming it so that you don't hit Nadine Smithius or the other Hellhound. Yeah. You're aiming for just that one. Okay. Mm. Um... Yeah, that's fine. There's nothing in the spell that says like you're, it's magic, so you can be that precise with it. Um, so yeah, go ahead. So it's a uh, save. Isn't oh, it? Dexterity catapult. Save. Dexterity save. There it is. Enjoy. 18. <sighs> oh, bloody hell, catapult. Um, so drawing the line, does that hit a pillar? Uh, I think that stabs into the it pillar. Did, yeah. yeah, it would. Um, well, I thought I was about to say, let's check for warlords before we do this. Shall we? <laughs> <laughs> so I should have just fired it at the wall. So what's the roll up the damage for it? Because we need to see if the spear survives. I don't think it will because it's wood. So unless you roll very low. A one. Uh, where's my DMG? Nine. I'm so glad these cowards oh. are going to get their comeuppance. Uh, oh, there it is. Delicious, delicious comeuppance. <laughs> Uh, let me just, just double check. So I, be you know, I literally cannot attack now other than punching. <laughs> <laughs> uh, object two. Four. And Dave's like, what's wrong with that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, <was> like, <laughs> I only punch things, you coward. <laughs> Wood has. Uh, how much did you say it was? Uh, nine. Oh, see, so ten is a. Uh... Is a small oh. resilient. Actually, no, it's a. Yeah, no. I'll give it 12 HP, because um, it's somewhere between small and medium, and it's made of wood. 
Um, so with 12 HP, so three left. So the spear, the spear like stabs perfectly into the post. You see, there's the boring from it. It, it shocks out, and there's like a crack. Um, a crack begins to form around the the pillar, around where the tip of this spear penetrated the stone. Uh, anything else on your turn, Nice? Was that your lot? Um, I think that was all of my movement. So I. Cool. Uh, next up, it's we are back round to the Hellhound. So let's deal with one that we know is definitely what's going on with it first. Um, he's got 50 feet. Can he get within chomping range? He can't, but he can certainly get close enough to be a problem. So you, we sort of get the camera angle of this 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 human who peeked his eyes around the side of this rock. Um, he comes back round. The camera sort of pans in so we can just see him. Um, sort of like the whole of the frame is just him with this stone around the back. And then we see the head of the hellhound appearing around the side of it. Um, and then he, t he turns to one side and there's the moment where their eyes lock. Um, and then we bump back to the action in the middle. Um, I have the um, smuggest, <laughs> smuggest <laughs> face. Nadine looks so satisfied. <laughs> like, um, this also looks very happy with this development. Um, <laughs> so this actually works really well for you. That was an, an added bonus in that by removing the other hellhound, um, uh, we've no longer got pack tactics in, in for... Um, what's about to happen next? So the first thing to do is I've got to roll two d six um, to see if these guys regain their fire breath. Um, two d six. Uh, let me just double check. Oh, each okay. one. Um, two d six each. Uh, Come on, do you, one. The, do you, make, you, you make the check at the start of your turn. I'm guessing for recharging, and then you can expend it on the same turn. It should say in the stat block. It doesn't. It just says recharge. It's just part of the standard rules. Um, if it just if it just says like recharge like four six or something, yeah, yeah, that just means at the start of each turn you roll for the recharge, and then if you get the recharge, you can use it. So you can use it same turn. Yeah, got it. Cool. That's fine. So um, let's do the one that's closest to you, the most important one first. So um, this is D six. What's the, what's the recharge for it? Oh, it's definitely not, not that. It's not one. So there's no flames happening over here. <laughs> And then behind the rock. Oh, please, please get a six. Please recharge. Uh, please cook these fuckers. Uh, also no. a one, which in some oh. ways is kind of better because it will take him longer to deal with these guys if he doesn't just that's immediately true, that's cook true. the lot of them. Um, nice. Okay, cool. So if that's the case, then this one, um, I think unfortunately Catgirl's done the most damage to him. Um, so hmm? um, mess with the not not you, Catgirl. Um, oh. Nadine, Nadine right, 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 right. <laughs> Thank um, God. <laughs> mess with the dog. Get the chomp. Um, so here comes a bite. Get the uh, bork. Uh, 15, is that over her AC? It is her AC. Uh, so yeah, no, that does hit, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, when I say scratch, she's on this thing's face. Um, oh, wait. See... Oh, never mind. Sorry. Go ahead. Are you going to try and use Arteus to... Uh, yeah, I was gonna be like, oh, the fuck attack, and then I'm like, whoa, wait, <laughs> he's a smoldering pile of scrap. <laughs> no yeah, what are just flickering feebly. Like, um, I'll save you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Cool. So, no, unfortunately, that does attack. So, uh, down. Yeah. So for eleven plus seven five. So where where she, where she's on this thing's face? Um, it kicks down into the dirt. And we see she sort of oops forwards um, as, as this thing plows down onto her and then it manages to twist its head 90 degrees to get her in line with its with its teeth. It chomps down on her and then you see there's for a second like a dog that's captured some sort of a rodent. He flips from side to side and we sort of see limbs flicking from side to side. A single cat ear like goes pirouetting away um, and sort of gently... <laughs> What's, what's the material that these, these, thing, these cat ears are made out of, um, Smithy? Are they metal or are they fabric of some sort? Uh, they'll be fabric, so... Oh, yeah, so like they, so it's, a cat ear sort of flutters down like a leaf. You can see the edge of it smouldering <laughs> with fire um, and lands on the floor next to you. And um, as the final of our robot defenders um, is no longer part of the equation. Um, and then I think that's it for its turn. Uh, next up is Tars. Is <laughs> <laughs> continuing to flip off nice. Uh, uh, then we're back round to uh, the elf. So he's going to stand up. Um, <laughs> he's, he doesn't make any eye contact with Ganicus. Um, <laughs> what about with Nice? <laughs> uh, nice is like, what are you? 
Uh, and then um, he's just going to roll up and attack with a short sword. So um, let's just roll a d20. That'll be a hit. Yes. Um, uh, so let's just bring him up. Is he going to get the kill? Come on now. Uh, so then it's uh, Not cool. sh uh, short sword d6, isn't it, from memory? Yep. Uh, plus four. Uh, so for seven damage... Um, which is exactly what was required. Um, so look at so as a, he sees this opportunity, he sees the um, the um, the dog face down in the um, in the cat girl. Um, as it's thrashing from side to side, and um, you see he ducks backwards as the head comes towards him. It moves the other way, and then he places his sword in the path of the head coming back the other direction. Um, we hear it sort of slide in. Shrink, um, on um, is anybody on that side? Um, yeah, nice. You would see on that side of the face the tip of a blade appear out of the side of the dog's face. Um, a shocked expression covered its face. Thought the cat drops out of its mouth, um, and then it it slumps to the ground. So, um, kill stolen. Um, as that one is now deceased. Um, and nice. moment, momentarily, you guys um, sigh a breath of relief because for the moment um, uh, the danger is elsewhere. Um, but it's, Ganicus, it's your turn, um, and you look around, this thing's down, and there's just carnage all around you. You can see that we've got four dead tigers, three piles of scrap, two... Well, there were previously two dwarves, but they are now completely dissolved, um, evaporated. So there's, there's little puffs of smoke where they were previously. Um, most of your compatriots are heavily bloodied, um, and you look, over to, you look over to see that this hellhound is making merry around the back. Um, of a and a rock over to the northeast, um, uh, you know there's probably not much time for him to dispatch what's behind there. Yep. You need to formulate and execute a plan. What is it, Ganicus? I'm I'll thinking. Pay... Go on, Matt. I'll pay you money to snap these handcuffs off of us, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a really good idea. Nice. Um, yeah. I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Um, so, as with chains, you've got a choice. You can make a strength check, um, or this thing has HP, um, and um, you can try and attack it. It's already taken quite a bit of damage, hasn't it? Oh, the manacles? No, the manacles haven't taken anything. They haven't, they haven't you, tried to break them previously. You're thinking of the, the chain that was holding the robots. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, Do we know how much HP it has? I mean, it's, it's uh, just manacles. I can't imagine it has that much. It's a fair bit. Um, uh, so both of, both of them are tough um, to do. Um, like these things are designed for holding a person. Breaking them with your 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 bare hands is what they are designed not to do. Um, breaking them with your tiger hands. With mm. the tiger hands. Astral tiger hands. Tiger hands. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to move around to be with you guys. Yeah, that's fine. No um, they call me Benny Tiger Hands. <laughs> the grease is the grease is slowly drying up. We've got three more turns of grease. So it says you know, tigers don't have hands. <laughs> this is dude, there's opposable thumbs and everything. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I will yeah, I will use my astral arms to attack the So you're gonna try and do damage or you're gonna try and strength check through it. So obviously strength check you can do it in one go. Um, whereas if you're attacking it, obviously there's the opportunity to chip away. You got strength, don't you? No. It's no. one thing I don't have. Oh, minus. <laughs> Unless I can use... Oh. Yeah. I'd say, just, just I'd say you, you can get advantage on the check by nature oh. of the fact that you're using extra arms that you've got. Uh, Smithius and Nadine are going to be helping you with that. And then you've got two. You've got four hands to which to grip this and try and pull it asunder. So I'll give you advantage on the check. All right. Um... But it's still, it's still up to you. It's, it, it, it may well still be back to just start chipping away at these. I'll give it a crack. Like I said, we've got advantage. Cool. Oof. Um, so uh, that'll be the first one. Mm -hmm. And the advantageous roll. Oh, uh, so close. I thought it was 19. No, unfortunately that doesn't do it. Mm. Um, so yeah, no, you see you see the, all these... He, his two hands grip it and then you see the the two astral hands wrap around his body and join in the grip and you begin straining at it um, but these 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 manacles were made by dwarves and they're made of sturdy stuff um and you can see that the, the the thick chain just holds true um you see that the links taut but and um, there's no sign of any strain or damage to them 
So that would be my main action. Mm -hmm. And therefore, as my bonus action, mm -hmm. I will at least try and attack with my unarmed strikes. Yeah, um, that's fine. So I will fine. attack the thing. Mm -hmm. I'll attack the chain, I should say. Yeah. Oh, um, I'm actually... Uh -huh. don't, you have, don't you have to um, take an attack action to use that as a bonus action? Oh, yes, you're right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or is that a new monk thing? Uh, that that actually, no, let's double check because it's specifically a monk thing that you can... Let's just read what it says in monk. Because um, it's under the martial arts, isn't it? Yeah, uh, let's have a look. Martial arts. Uh, yeah, yeah, it says when you use the attack action there with an unarmed strike or a monk weapon, you can use one unarmed strike as a bonus action. Down. I'm actually add an inspiration, Steve. Isn't it two? Because it. Uh, yeah, yeah, it be... yeah, negatively impacts, impacts the party, so yeah. Cool. Don't well, worry, I, I can unlock them next turn. I'll spend as many inspiration as I need to do it. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, Smithius, um, uh, you're now up. Um, you might as well try it. For, so... the, for, the, for the first time in um, <laughs> the last few rounds, you're not in immediate <laughs> peril. Um, but I am heartbroken. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. He suffers emotional damage. Yeah. It is super effective. <laughs> he hadn't even broken it in yet. <laughs> yeah. <I have. laughs> of course I have. I'd like to reiterate that's not what it is. Not a sex bot. <laughs> uh, I'd just like to state for the record. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'll try and break these chains. Nice. In a fit of grief and rage. I, I would say, don't try and break them, just strength check it. Yeah, so that's what I meant, sorry. Oh, yeah. okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Would that be with advantage? Uh, no, unless somebody's helping you, um, which means they'd have to take up their turn to do it. You can prepare to help, like you could theoretically give Nadine advantage when it's her turn to do it by taking the help action to help with, the st with an ability check. Do it. Check. Oh, yeah. I'll, what's your, I'll what's your strength? strength? Better than yours. Just yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm just sort of so you're, you're bracing, wa wailing and, and ready to help. Okay, so yeah, so you like brace yourself. So where Ganesis is in the middle pulling, you brace <laughs> from the other side. You play, place the hand to your forearm um, to give Nadine a good, a good, um, a good barrister, and you will plant your feet in the dirt. Um, next it's, up pro is... it's probably in the same way I, I looked to her earlier to like, um, to like move with her. I just sort of look to her now to to help as I'm suddenly without robo a compliment. <laughs> nice. Okay, so, and then next up, it's the commoners' turn, who, for the first time in since they've got behind that rock, they're going to take some actions. Uh, <laughs> How brave. Uh, I, hope they, I hope they all die. <laughs> um, in that they are going to GTFO. So this one's able to sprint. Um, oh. So 25 standard movement, isn't it, for a human commoner? So he can move 50 feet. He, you see one of them go sprinting off in this direction. Um... This one's pinned, though. Uh, this one's going to disengage and then run, so he only gets 25 and makes it to there. Uh, and then this one's within kissing range. So he's going to have to sprint if he's going to want any hope of getting away. So the one who we saw put behind, he's going to attempt to dash, so he is going to take an opportunity attack. Um, so oh, please get roasted. He's this gonna... is where we can see the faded lines of the track. Yeah. That's sprinting along it. Uh, Wait, is this the arena where Nuck ran himself to tears? <laughs> yeah, sure is, it is. Yeah, this is this is the same arena where athletic competitions were held. So this is where <laughs> so, where Nuck would have been would have been. So if we look up, unless the orcs have harvested them all, there should be what looks like a night sky, which is actually just gems set into the ceiling. Yeah, yeah, Ooh. yeah. Yeah, it's as Steve described previously. This is that same arena. Um, yes. uh, so awesome. yeah, no, unfortunately that doesn't work. So yeah, you see, he scrabbles up, um, and you see that he, as he moves away, this the the hellhound grabs his leg, um, and similar to the other one, he thrashes. But because there's a stone nearby, and um, he takes one flip to the left, and then just brains this guy on the rock to his side. There's a there's a loud crunch. We hear a roar from the crowd in that direction. He, he hasn't rolled the damage yet. It doesn't matter. He's a commoner. He's got one health. Oh, and this, <laughs> you can see it's it for the, for the purposes of. Um, uh, just seeing the dice, but yeah, he's, he has one health. Um, uh, but <laughs> it, rolled, it rolled near max damage anyway. Um, so yeah, I would probably say like he smashes it, and then you see this hellhound's head come up, and it's just got the leg is the only thing left in his mouth. Everything else is spattered across the side of the stone. Um, and this Delicious. Guy is, this guy is well and truly toast. Um, 
and that's one piece of your meat shield away. One, 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 one HP of the three that you've got to work with is now gone. Um, and Nadine, <laughs> you're up. All right. Isn't there another dwarf alive as well? Or is he also? Yeah, he, no, he's yeah. still alive. Um, yeah. When's his turn? I can't see him in the turn order. Yeah, he hasn't had a, he hasn't had a turn recently. Uh, did I accidentally remove him when I deleted the token for the other one? Yeah, uh, you probably. When I deleted the token, it just just put him. How like... many were there? Didn't there was get... three. There was three. Uh, okay. there, is, there is one left. I'm gonna move him to the front so we can see him. Oops. Uh... All right, well, I'm gonna strength check it. Um, I can't remember what his was. Um. <laughs> He's going to take a turn, and then I'll just slide him in at 12, which is like the average. All right. Um, so he can't really do anything, so he's just going to prepare to defend himself anyway. Cool, that's fine, and I'll add him in. Uh, okay. Add turn. There we go. Uh, yeah, Nadine, you're up anyway. Yep, strength check, and I get advantage, so... 11. Not enough. Come on. Come on! Son oh, of a bitch! Man. All right. No, no, well, boys. our our robo boy said he was gonna pick the lock for us, so I I'm, I'm trusting you. <laughs> nice. Okay. So yeah. No, oh. No... Uh, also, as a bonus action, can I pick up that spear? Uh. Yeah. You can you you can use half your movement to do that, and then your action Yay. would have been doing. So yeah, you scoop the spear up, um, and then you um you begin to pull out the pull at this chain, but um similar to so you've got three of you working on it now. Gamakus is in the center with two arm with four arms wrapped around it, and then you've got the other two of you pulling from either end. Um, yeah. But this is uh, this was created by dwarven smiths, and there's got a lot more strength than you would think. Uh, nice. It's now your turn. Okay, I'm gonna do what I said I would do. Uh, it's actually yeah, there should be room there for me to move. So, do you do you have like a built-in uh, so boy yeah, scout I, knife? <laughs> essentially, yeah. I basically move over. Um, I hold out my hand, and it kind of like in, unfolds into a set of th thieves' tools. Oh, oh nice! Nice, so, you actually have that. As, um... Yeah, my integrated tool is my thieves' tools, um, which is so what that... I get from being forged. Okay, so the DC is dropped by five, specifically if you're using thieves' tools to try and break through uh, manacles. Money. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's a nine, so I'm going to spend an inspiration. Nice. Is that enough? Still not through. What? Uh, on, What's the DC twenty? <laughs> oh Jesus! God damn it! Yeah, Dave, you you can do it. You you, you got go. one more. Crit. Hey, twenty one. Yeah. So no, yeah, that does it. So yeah, where you guys are all straining up against it. Uh, um, Nice's hand extends out, and we sort of see all these little tools begin. So what, what's what's the what's the action of it? You see the tools extend out. Nice. Where are they coming from specifically? And what's the what's the animation of them like? Are they sort of clockworky? How's the actual operation of these things? Um, it's like the um. The inside, like, this bit flips open, and then a bunch of arms with the tools kind of, like, come out and fit into his hand as he needs each of them. So he just uh, kind of, like, does that action, and then the tool comes into his hand, oh, and he so starts using it. So they're not individual arms working individually. It's like you've got a, an assistant in your arm that just, yeah. you just manually do it as if you would if you were using the tools, but you've got somebody yeah. handing you the next tool. Here's what you like, need. He could, he could probably use two at once to have, like, one arm doing, like, a less, like, just holding it in place and doing the more dexterous mm -hmm. things with his actual hand. Um, and then, then Nice just says, um, and he kind of like extends them all out of his arm and says, I can't do shit now. If you need to use these, you can, but they're attached to me. Okay. <laughs> I'm, um... I'm salivating at the, <laughs> the idea of thieves tools. <laughs> um, so do we need to do, do you need to have any sort of, um, um, let's just double check. We can do this if you want to. Do you need to have, um, what's the word for it? Attunement with your thieves tools if you're going to use um, thieves tools use your spell casting focus. No, there's no attunement any... needed for a, a focus. Okay. Um, just... Otherwise, it would take up an attunement slot and then that would permanently be one down. Right. Okay. It'd just be weird. Uh, let's quickly read the artifices. Make sure I've got it right in my head how this works. Then, uh, so spell casting. Uh, unless it says specifically an artifact, so that I don't that's what I was going to check. This is it, how it works. Because obviously you're using something that's not classically a thieves' tool. Uh, a spellcasting focus. Da, da, da. Tools required. Yeah. I think we can use thieves' tools or tinkerers' tools or magical items or the tool that comes along with 
the type of artifacts yeah, we have. No, you just need to be proficient with it. So it has to be specifically the tool. So those of you who didn't choose Thieves tools as your your tools uh, can't use them. All artifacts get Thieves tools proficiency. Oh, do they? Yeah. So yeah. You, okay, thieves so tools and Tinker's tools. Okay, so yeah, as long as you've got Thieves tools then, um, then yeah. Yeah, you can um, so yeah, you can make use of them. That's money. Yeah. And that's my turn. Can't do anything as a bonus action. Excellent. Okay, cool. Um, so next up is the Hellhounds, um, who's going to continue snacking. So it's absolutely no trouble for him to catch up to this next one um, and give him a similar treatment. I'll be surprised. Um, but let's find out. He may quit fail. Seven. So no, this, <laughs> this, this dwarf who's just absolutely hammering it away from him. And this Hellhound comes pounding up behind him. Um, it snaps at the back of his head, but he, he trips on a rock at the right moment. And then this thing snaps behind him and he slides on his face in the dirt and scrabbles back to his feet and continues <laughs> running. Um, Meat shield! Uh, then it's Tars. Uh, uh, then it's the dwarf. Um, no. You can't really do an awful lot in this situation. Um, he, I suppose he turns to the group um, and says, what, what, what do we do? Um, they're not gonna. He, he gestures to the the two the two other dwarves panicking and running away. He says they're not gonna last forever. What's the plan? Um, he's one of the ones with a club. Um, so he just has a length of wood in his hands. Um, and then, um, similarly, um, so as as he's saying this, Fink turns to you, Ganicus. Um, what is the plan for when this thing this thing comes back? What is the plan, guys? I'm thinking... Wait. Hit it. Hit it, yeah. Kill it. Um, spread out a little bit. Oh, I need to roll their d6 for it quickly. Um, Let's all stand in like a cone formation. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bully! So, yeah. Um, this thing that has recharged. Any sort spread of plan formation, or are you going to spread out, yeah. do you say? I suppose we could spread out, stay near to the... Spread out, stay near to the pillars as much as we can. At least we got some some cover behind our backs, and kill this thing. Because I'm taking it, you guys don't have anything ranged, any ranged attacks or anything like that. No, I don't have anything other than just <laughs> letting um letting Nadine use my body to cast a spell. <laughs> <laughs> so so question. The spellcasting focus takes the place of the M requirement, right? Yes, that's correct. <laughs> yeah. Delicious. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, so Fink's going to do exactly that. He's going to move to the nearest pillar. Um, so he's going to move out, skirting around the oil. He's had quite <laughs> enough of the grease. Um, he moves over to here, um, and he's going to take the hide action again um, to try and give himself some advantage when these things do kick off. Uh, so... She is trained in nine. <laughs> no, okay. This thing's already aware that he's there. Um, so no stealth for this boy. Ganicus, you're gonna follow your own instructions and do the same. Where are you moving to? See where the hellhound is right now. All right, so he's up to the north. The way there. How far is he away? The Mile hellhound. Uh, the hellhound yeah. is presently. Um, uh, like oh. from, from you, he's 60, 60 feet, we'll call it. Okay, I can frostbite him on my turn. Nice. I can, I can miss again. <laughs> uh, so, where are you moving, did you say, Ganicus? Um. Are you going to prepare an action? Yes, we can only. I'm going to move did you, over did, to. Did you pick up that longsword, or is that longsword still over on the floor? No, I went with my. My trusty tiger paws instead. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm going to move. Um, yeah, I'm going to move over to this, um, this one, right. and also attempt to hide. Okay. Into that. Yeah, roll a stealth check up. Let's get that stealth. Sorry. Seventeen. That's too far. That's fine. Cool. Uh, Smithius, you're up. Smithius, you're up. 
Uh, I guess I'll grab the spear. Yep. Uh, move. Do I need to get a spear? Uh, is hiding an action? Yes. Or is it... Hiding okay. is an action, yes. Yeah. So you can't do anything as a bonus action along those lines? Uh, good question. No, bonus actions aren't specifically attacks. Uh, it's only the monk thing that you have to have attacked, so you can take a bonus action if you've hidden. Um, if something is a bonus action, yeah, you can totally do that. Oh, sorry, I, I meant there's nothing... If I cast a spell, there's nothing else useful I can do as a bonus action. No, most spells can't be cast. Especially you can't cast two turns on... You can't cast two spells in the same turn. Um, All right. Unless you've specifically got a feature that lets you do so. Okay, so I'll just move... Um, towards this pillar, top right. Nice, so yeah, you guys, the, 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 the manacle falls to the ground and you're finally free from Nadine. Um, do you sort of like extend a, a hand back to her as you move? <laughs> <laughs> you see that Nadine's holding hands with nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> now I'm angry. <laughs> Must kill nice. So yeah, yeah, for the first time you can move with your own movement wherever you want, so um, where are you going? Um, I think uh, you can just pick up your token and move it if you want to, or more if you if you want to let me know where you want it, it's either's fine. Oh yeah, I, I just move it um, towards this pit on the top right. Yeah, so you've got uh, 25, so you can get there, so you can move to like there, or anywhere around the pillar if you want, line of sight either side of it. Uh, I presume I need... Uh, yeah, I need, I need... So slightly to the left of the pillar, so I can get line of sight. Yeah. And then I'll try frostbite again. Nice, so it's a con save, am I right? Yeah, save? yeah. Like this. Oh, damn. God damn it! They've been rolling so high on all the saves, other than great <laughs> I've missed. I've missed like three times with catapult, and every single frostbite today as well. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, missed yeah, twice yeah. with catapult. Mm -hmm. Well, you hit me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so the, the dice, the dice do not, uh, do not favor you today. Um, we're on to the commoners. So he's. <laughs> this one's going to continue his sprint. Um, so he's just doing laps, so we do get we get shades of the, the dwarven Olympics as this dwarf um, runs a tear a lap coming round. down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we see yeah tears in his eyes. <laughs> a, a, a flashback to Nuck. <laughs> Still not as fast as Nuck. Uh, yeah, nobody's as fast as Nuck. Um, <laughs> he's and then, simply too fast. The uh, dwarven Flash. This one's going to attempt to. <laughs> this one's going to get away. He's going to have to sprint. So he's going to have to just forego a disengage. Otherwise, he's just dead. Um, so, um, let's roll up the attack for the Hellhound. Uh, chomp. Hey. Ten. Uh, what's the AC of a commoner? I think it is ten, isn't it? I thought it was eleven. I might be uh, wrong. Uh, it'll be, no, it would be ten if they don't have at least plus one dex. If they've just got flats, it'll be ten. Okay. Yeah, so no, unfortunately, it's not enough. So, yeah. He, where he's down on the foot, he attempts to scrabble to his feet, um, but you see the hellhound grabs him by the waist um, and then chucks him into the cheap seats, and you see it flicks his head, um, but it loses grip on him, and he goes hurtling into the crowd to the northeast, um, landing around there. Um, you see a load of a, lo a load of orcs sort of grab him and above their heads, like, <laughs> one of them just has a leg. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and he is well and truly deceased. Uh, One shield remaining. Uh, and he's, he's actually further away from the thing than you are now. I'm mm -hmm. out of line of sight as well. Um, uh, Nadine, you're up. Shit. So as a free action, just laughing at the commoners silently. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what they get for being cowards. <laughs> um, and then I think I'm going to use my finally free movement. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no longer holding you back. I mean, yes. <laughs> <So> <laughs> I'm going to yeet myself over here. Yeah. For half my movement speed. And then, uh, oh wait, oh, I can't cast magic if I'm not near. Okay, you, hang you, on. you need to stay with nice. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> Fucking robot. So you, you, you cast it and I'll move. You, you, you've just been un, un, unshackled. Um, yeah, yeah, and yeah. And immediately yeah. you are <laughs> reconnected to a different player. Uh, yeah, I, I, I give the hand like a, a look that like it says I'm really debating like chopping it off real quick. <laughs> uh, but it decided not to be a dick. 
Um, okay, in that case, I want to prepare Tasha's Caustic Brew for once this... It's got a 30-foot range, so the moment the Hellhound comes within 30 feet of me... Tasha's Caustic... Is that from the new spell book? Yeah. Uh, I believe so. Yeah, it is. Uh, Do you want me to just post the... Uh, yes, if you could. Yeah, no problem. I just saw the thing that Steve shared. That's what I was like. <laughs> um, all the spells. Where are the spells in this new book? Somewhere they shouldn't be. Yeah. Right, here we go. T T T. Uh, yeah, it's page one hundred fifteen. Thank you. Copy, copying it isn't working, so go ahead and just read it. Yeah, I've got it here. So, um, uh, uh, oh, I can't see it here. Take one, 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 one fifteen, like one one five. Did you mean a one fifty? What? Is it one fifteen or one fifty? One fifteen. In in Tasha's, it's page one fifteen. It's basically just a oh, here row it is, of yeah. acid, right? Uh, so casting time, one action, yeah, range, um, self, 30 foot line, a stream of acid emanates from you in a line of 30 feet long, 5 feet wa wide in the direction you choose. Each creature in the line must succeed at its dexterity saving throw or be covered in acid for the spell's duration until the creature uses its action to scrape or wash the acid off itself um, or another creature. A creature covered in the acid takes 2d4 acid damage at the start of each of its turns. Nice, okay. Um, so you, I'm assuming you're just preparing to spray that in the direction of a hellhound if it comes within mm -hmm. range. And I... Hmm, I can't really shout. So I kind of give the, the vague emotion of, like, don't stand in front of me to my allies. Uh, okay, so only Nice would be able to actually see and understand that because he's close to you. Um, do, 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 do. One, two, it's in DC. Oh, it just says dexterity save, so it'll just be your spell save. Cool, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, nice, okay. Um, Can we take a quick um, coffee break? Yeah, 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 let's take five. Okay. Cheers. Cool, yeah. join that. Alrighty. Advert for Bud Light comes up. <laughs> well, now that we're back in, um, quickly, um, can I please get a perception check from um, Nadine and from Smithius? Mm-hmm. That's not good. Smithius. Uh, one moment. Eight. Okay, yeah. no, no, that's fine. Um, neither of you notice anything. That is uh, not fine. Uh, nice, it's your turn. Really not fine. Yay. Um, I think I can't do anything to help Nadine cast her spell, can I? No. Not really. It would have to be like a physical spell for me to help. Um, okay, in that case, then I think I'm just going to take the the dodge action to be prepared to dodge if I need to. Okay, cool. That's fine. Um, next, we are on to the hellhound, who has lost sight of his prey at the moment. There's no line of sight on the remaining uh, uh, the remaining commoner. Um, oh dear. So I think. Let's have a look. And dogs don't need to see the ball to chase it. That's true. They did know that he was there. Um, Smithius is within 50 feet. Smithius, can you please roll on animal handling for me? <laughs> 16. Okay. So, yeah, you, you, you noticed for this moment that um, you're, you're the closest target to this thing, and you sort of you, you seize that opportunity to make yourself a bit smaller and hurt back. Um, so he is going to continue after um, after the human, so he's going to sprint. Um, and for the moment, he's out of line of sight of all of you as he disappears behind the statue. Uh, then it's Tars. Um, <laughs> then we are on to... Like dodging. Oh, actually, one hand. <laughs> uh, then we are on to the dwarf, who's going to follow the advice of Ganicus and is going to find a spot to take cover. Um, over at the f over here with Fink, gate's gonna stay closed. Fink, um, he's got a short sword. He's just gonna prepare an attack for if this thing comes within range. Um, so have I got? Uh, let's put that on 
for a prepared attack. Uh, Ganicus, you're up. Yeah. Um. Oh, jeez, guys. That that poor little Colin is really doing well. Benny, this, uh, Benny hilling around the outside of the arena <laughs> at the moment. Rescue party. Say that again, Smith. Rescue Let's... party. Yeah. You notice that the, the crowd around are loving this. Like, mm. this sort of Benny Hill style people being chased around is exactly what they paid for. And you probably <laughs> see, like, where the hellhounds in this 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 commoner are making their way around the edge of the arena. There's almost like a Mexican wave of cheering orcs that follows the hellhound around. Okay. I mean, I, I'm pretty well stealthed up. I'm, I'm going to prepare an attack. For if the, the, the hellhound comes towards me. Nice, okay. Um, that is fine. Um, uh, Smithy, it's on your turn. Can I get another perception check for you, from you, please? Indeed. No, three. <laughs> I'm, dis I'm distracted, I feel. Yeah, there's too much going on. Um, uh, so what are you going to do now? So um, uh, the hellhound's disappeared from you. You saw where he went. You know where he is, but you, you haven't currently got line of sight on him. Um, pretty much everyone else is hidden, aren't they? Uh, yeah, most people mean. have most people have hidden. Yeah, yeah, um, I'm or at least the they've taken then. cover. I go behind this pillar, uh, behind from the position where the tiger is. Yeah, so like I over, over here. Yeah, um, and then yet yeah, roll a stealth check. Nice, oh. sixteen. Um, take that. Yep, it's fine. Uh, then it's the commoner's turn. He's going to attempt to get away. Um, so we are going to get an opportunity attack from the hellhound. No, so the, the last one. Um, you probably see like where dis they both disappear behind the statue. Um, uh, the last dwarf appears around the other side of the statue, but before he's out of the pitch, you see he pitches down, um, and then sort of he, he gets dragged back behind the statue. You don't <laughs> see what happens to him. You just see him goes, oh, shoo, um, and then he is um, also deceased. Nice. Um, and you, yeah, you get a sense that um, you guys are next on the chopping block. Nadine, <clears throat> you're up. Yep, you gotta keep preparing that spell. <laughs> Nice. No, so yeah. So um, you're just you're just still directing that. That's fine. Can, nice. Yeah. Can I also roll the uh, perception again? Yes, you can. Yeah, you, you can you can roll perception while you're waiting. Let me see that. Oh, 16. Oh. 16. Okay. Um. Yeah. So like while you're you're sat there waiting, you've sort of got one hand on on um on nice, and then the other's on this sphere that you've got in your hand. Yeah. Um, and probably it like drifts across your view for a second. Um, and then you recognise on the, where the wood where the wood um, meets the actual um, the sort of like steel tip. Um, you look at the tip of this um, your tip of the spear and you recognise it. You, you mm. recognise this handiwork specifically, and that this this spear was made by Smithius. Oh. <laughs> huh. Do you know it's going to be good quality? <laughs> I mean, that other one nearly broke. <laughs> nearly. Nearly. Like, yeah. Nearly is not. Doing. It didn't get magically <laughs> jettisoned into a pillar and didn't break, so that's pretty, you know, for a spear, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, like, uh, <laughs> free action, I'm like... <laughs> oh, what's it? Over to Smithius. You yeah, yeah, yeah. It. Okay, so, so yeah, Smithius, like, you would notice, like, Nadine's trying to get your attention, she points at the tip of the spear, and, like, you look at yours as well, and you would recognize the same thing, like, this is your handiwork. Um, yeah. This is one of your spears. I'm suddenly feeling a bit more confident. Do they, uh, do they have any magical imbuing or anything? <laughs> no. Uh, these are yeah. just like army issue spears. Like These are the yeah, same ones enough. you would have been bringing to the front line. That's fine. All right. Yep. Preparing my spell. C come at me, bro. <laughs> nice. Uh, nice. You doing anything? Um, do I need to... Since she's concentrating on the spell, do I now need to stay within range? Uh, she, well, she needs your tools to cast the spell. So I'd say, yeah, you need so... to stay in contact with her. Technically, she's already cast the spell, and she's concentrating to sort of hold it. Can I also uh, just, like, say that I'll use my movement to move with Nice? Because, uh, like, I haven't used my movement. Yeah, you're, um... 
Yeah, it's the same as how when you were you were shackled to Smithius. We'll use the same okay. rules. I mean that you you can nice you can move up to Nadine's movement or whoever has the lowest movement. You can both move that movement in the turn while okay. you're effectively attached together. But yeah, I'm going to say by nature of the fact that he's using tools to cast it that are part of you. Um, you you two are going to need to stay in contact um, between from the moment the spells um, prepared to when it's actually cast. Okay, um, I'm just thinking about spacing out for the fire breath. I'm just going to move to there, not that it's going to make too much difference. Yeah. It, don't worry, it, can, it can't reach us and fire breath on the same turn. It's going to have to sprint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, rather than dodge again, I'm going to prepare my action to dash and what? basically just move away. What? No, attack it! <laughs> so when it comes near us, prepare an attack! Um, what's, the, what's, the I, what's the condition? All I can... You can punch it. Yeah, I can do one damage plus minus one strength. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the, uh, what's the what's the condition for you using the dash, Steve? When are you going to move away? Um, after Nadine's cast her spell. Okay. So yeah. So uh, yeah, I, I, all I want to do is just move like ten foot away from her so that I can move back next turn if she needs to cast Got another spell. Got it. So yeah, the condition of the spell being cast. Got it. Okay. Cool. That's fine. Um. So now we're on to the Hellhounds. Um. So. Who's the closest? I think it's that dwarf. Um, is the unlucky winner of um, closest, most plump-looking piece of meat. Um, uh, so, our final remaining dwarf. Uh, what's the range? Is it worth in fire breathing, or shall I just chomp? Oh, is that within thirty feet? Uh, it is. If you're happy to also coat this. Dwarf. I definitely don't give a shit about that dwarf. <laughs> um, uh, ooh, okay, yeah. Um, if you've got combs, nobody else there, but I can get. I can get I'm releasing my load. Cool. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, one more turn off. Please. Nice. Uh, we've only got one turn left of Greece, guys. Oh my uh, god. <laughs> or you say sorry? Uh, the final turn of Greece after this. When, no. when, we, when we get back to when we get back to Nice's turn, the Greece will be gone. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. So uh, I guess it's both of them need to succeed a dexterity saving throw. Nice. Okay. Um, let's roll Before up. the fucking hellhound succeeds and the dwarf fails. Uh, so dex save. Uh, Who's this he, cr he crits. <laughs> oh, that's the dwarf. Oh, oh, dwarf yeah. <laughs> this this dwarf is just dodging shit left and right. Uh, it's, it's really time to let you know that the dwarf's names were the two deceased are um, Dolo and Bolo, um, and the one remaining. Yolo. Um, yes. <laughs> oh, he is Yolo. -ing. Intense. Um, so yeah, Yolo. Yolo dodged. I'll, I'll show his name now, so you can see him. He's going to be dead soon anyway. Um, so you say. <laughs> <laughs> um, do, 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 do. Come on, Hellhound. Uh, you know you want to fail it. Fail it. Ah, uh, no, that's fine. We'll do that. You know what his name is. Um, so Hellhound. Uh, deck save, wasn't it? Yes. There it is. He oh, crit failed. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he's no drenched in acid. Nice. Okay. Cool. So yeah. The, He's probably because he's distracted by the dwarf. Like the, the dwarf, the dwarf's coming towards him. But the dwarf tries to duck down below his mouth, um, and this thing looks up just in time to see you. What, what, so what does it look like when you cast the spell, Nadine? Um, it depends. So for for this caustic brew, hmm, I feel like it would be like just a. Sorry, one second. It would just be like a. Almost like a toss and like a, a magical vial would like appear midair. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, and so it takes 2d4 acid at the start of each of its turn. Uh, but since it crit failed, does it take some now too? Uh, huh? Yeah, I'd say so. So yeah, that's normally it's on, <laughs> it's on its turn, did you say? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So 2d4, roll it up. Nice. Uh, 2d4. Pretty good spell. Yeah, it's pretty good. How long does it last? A minute. Oh, so ten turns. Five damage. Five damage. You, nice. Did you say it has to use a turn to wipe it off or something? Yeah, it has to use an action. Yeah, to get. Yeah, it to, off. to wash it off. 
Um, yeah. So it's still still the Hellhounds' turn, and it's got two people within range. So, sorry, Nadine, there's going to be retaliation, and this all this dwarf may have yoloed his last. Um, Did it not dash? No, it didn't. It just ran. It's got fifty oh, foot of movement. I see. Um, uh, so, <laughs> um, your prepared action to move away, Steve, was a uh, a wise one. Um, uh, so I need a DC 12 deck save, please. Jeez. All right. Got this. Oh, and you had a... Uh, so yeah, you're... And the beam. 21. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, and then YOLO deck save. He, he got, he's already been hit by one of these. No, he doesn't succeed. So unfortunately... Uh -oh. I think oh, that's YOLO. For him. You only live once. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he did. he survived one of these, so aptly as for his name. Um, <laughs> uh, it was sixty-six, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so I take half damage, right? Half damage. Yeah. So cross your fingers. Oh, this is the first time I've taken damage. I'm not pleased about this. <laughs> Twenty-two. So eleven. Eleven, and yeah, unfortunately. Um, Yolo manages to avoid the the acid, um, but as he turns back round, you see he turns back round and comes to standing. But this thing is already rearing back to draw a breath, um, because he's so close mm -hmm. to it. I think that the same happens as with the other ones in that he gets completely disintegrated. But it's only his top half. He's so close that his legs are below the uh, below the um, below the firing line. Um, and as if cut by a lightsaber, I think the the heat of it's immediately sealed all of the wounds. So just the perfect legs with this black top. Um, slump over backwards, um, and he is cooked. Um, oh, YOLO. Um, and yeah, then he gets dissolved by the acid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then he probably would fall in what's the acid, so then he smoking gently. Um, then we're on to Tars, um, and then uh, it would have been YOLO's, but he is now deceased. I think. Um, think. Yeah, that was being magical. Um. Now's your time to shine, Fink. <laughs> yeah, he, I think he's going to have to... If it's going to happen, it's going to happen now. So he circles around the back of the pillar um, and attempts to jump on this thing's back. Um, mm. This may be the end of Fink as well. Uh, what a way to go, though. Come on, yeah, right. Fink. Um, here comes I mean, he did take one down. Uh, yeah, he's the Hellhound Killer. He's going to take an attack with the sword. 15 is just enough. Nice. Um, uh, so yeah, he takes a slash at it. Um, so that's 1d6 plus 4. He has a slash on it. It's pretty rude to piss on the thing. Plus 4. <laughs> uh, 7 damage. Nice. Uh, and then he's going to use his last key point um, uh, to do patient defense. So he's going to take a defensive stance and he's dodging. Um, he's a think tank. Next up, uh, Ganicus. Fuck um, off. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. I, I, I... <laughs> How do you kick someone from a Zoom car? <laughs> <laughs> How do you just kick someone that's out? It's done. <laughs> All right, um, let's see then. Yeah, this is this is where we, we stand or we fall. Yeah, it's time to, time to nuke this thing. Get it! <laughs> I've got 40 foots. Ben! Cool. Say hello. The bark of this hellhound sounding rather less intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> Give me one second. I am going to come up to here. And that will still be 10 foot between me and the thing. Yeah. Yep. So you've still got your extended reach. Yep. And now I'm going to attack the damn thing. Nice. I'm going to pummel this mother trucker. Nice. Roll it up. Yes. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Roll up damage. Nice. Five no. damage. <laughs> nice enough. Chipping away. And then another attack with my bonus action. Nice. Nice. <laughs> yeah, finally the rolls are going our way. Oh, yeah, nice. Just fucking mauls this thing. Nice. <laughs> um, yeah, you're right. 
F Fist so, yeah. of the North starring so, it. Yeah, just so, like... <laughs> so like Fink comes comes curling round the post, slashes against his thing, and takes a defensive stance. And then we see around him all of these astral these astral hands appear and slash at the um, slash at the tiger um, as Gannicus emerges round the corner following them. Uh, Smithius. This this will be the test if if the rolls are going our way. For oh. spite. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> right, no, no, I believe, I believe in Frostbite. We've one got of, this, guys. This is the moment. One of these days, con save, wasn't it? Yeah. Seven. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> oh wait, that's the saving throw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So roll up. I thought your... that was the attack roll, and I was like, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't even know what damage is. I haven't even got this far yet. <laughs> it's probably, it's probably one eight, one d eight. One D, one D six. Isn't it like a D4? It's D six and it's got disadvantage on the next weapon attack. Oh, that's oh pretty nice. Good. Uh -huh. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Literally. Go, roll. Put this thing. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Four damage, nice. Nope. It's looking very worse for wear now. We're nearly there, guys. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, commoners turn, they are all over the place um uh, nadine all right all right all right <laughs> as much as i want to heal myself <laughs> i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna kiss the tip of the spear and then hurl it at this thing <laughs> nice go for it all right so i guess what do i roll uh it's just a, a spear is designed to be thrown um, uh, so it's just a ranged attack um, with strength, I'm guessing, because it's is it not finesse? finesse. Um, I don't know if the spear is. I don't think a spear is finesse, so it'd be strength, wouldn't it, to throw it? So yeah, one one d six plus strength, and then if you're proficient with, um, oh, yeah, it's designed yeah, so. to be thrown, so simple weapons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, mm -hmm. Then uh, you can you can okay, here we add go. proficiency as well. So plus three then, I assume. Uh, strength plus proficiency. Is your strength only plus one, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, strength plus proficiency. All right, here we go. Although, hang on. Let me just double check. What did the... I know the battle mage gets something special. Battle master. For... Yeah, for using weapons. But I can't remember if that's only weapons I've in... imbued. Probably. Let's have a quick look. I've got... Yeah. Um, yeah, because we've not infused it. So you can use intelligence when attacking with a magical weapon instead. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And go. we're proficient with simple and martial weapons. Yeah, fair enough then. So yeah, no, just a regular attack, so... Okay, that's fine. Here we go. Show me the money. Ah, uh, do I want inspiration that? I do. do. I do I... want inspiration that. God oh, damn it! Oh, <sighs> twelve. No. What? Any mm. more, or are you you calling mm. it there? You spent how many how many inspiration you got left? So I've got three left after that one. I can do one more. <laughs> go for it. Do it. Here yeah, we go. Like it. Yeah, sweet. So uh, spear is the eight. Is it? Sorry. Um. Uh, D6. D6. So you take the lower, you take the one-handed damage. So yeah, roll a D6 plus your strength. Four. Four plus one is five damage. Is that enough? It is not quite. It's within inches of its life. So you, you hurtle this thing across. I mean, the, the, the spear buries itself into the neck. I mean, you, think, you see this thing takes a staggered step back. And it's, yeah. almost, it's like punch drunk at this moment. It's sort of finding it hard to stay up on its feet. Uh, and I'm also going to take a casual step over here. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Um, oh, wait, hang on. Is that... Out of 15 feet. We're good. <laughs> nice. Okay, cool. Um, it's nicest turn. So we sort of see, like, a spotlight comes down from the ceiling. Um, <laughs> and, like, the, the grease on the floor illuminates. And then the heavenly sort of... Ah, dissipates <laughs> and... Uh, the grease is the, the grease is just like the grease goes back to heaven. Yeah, yeah you did the, well, my friend. The grease. Thank you for your service. The grease sends away. Um, in, uh, in like a rug. Like a yeah. I like to think if you've ever seen like the old Zelda animation where things just start smoking and then it disappears. It yeah, just yeah, does yeah. That. <laughs> yeah. Nice, and then nice. It is your turn. What are we doing? Um, can I just spend the turn grieving? 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> more about the grease. You scoop some white. grease up. Like, oh. <laughs> r r run up and just kick, punch the spear deeper into its body. <laughs> um, the spear that's like directly next to me in the pillar. Yeah. Is that going to take an action to get, or can I just half grab movement? That? Half movement. It's um, it's not like wedged into the point that you're gonna have to use a strength check like you can just use half movement to take it out okay um that's not really worth me doing then since i can't really attack it so i think what i'm gonna do you can eat gonna... spear, can't you? oh Same. yeah yeah but i've got minus one strength it's just <laughs> not gonna be very good um i could do the is the hellhound's turn directly after mine it is it's yeah. the next turn so People are gonna die very shortly. Yeah. Okay. I'll um. I'll just do the sphere anyway. Cool. I'll... Edge of the seat stuff, guys. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> this do is mostly Fink's life to... that's yeah. resting in the balance here. Well, Danicus is stood right behind him, so it depends if he recharges a fire breath. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Hopefully not. That'd suck. Um, I guess I will just move to like here, next to the robot Artius, the dead Artius. And is that close enough to... Yeah, it's like 60. Yeah. It's uh, 2060, isn't it? So, so I just need to move forward a little bit. There we go. Yeah. Um, and so if I just do a strength throw and then add two to it, that'll be it, won't it? Uh, proficiency. Yeah, because your strength... Is your strength negative one? Did you say? Yeah. So, so it'll just be plus one because it's plus yeah, proficiency. Yeah, nope. <laughs> uh, uh, do I... Inspiration it... it! Come on. Inspiration. I used a lot of inspiration. I, I, I used two of them. I used two of them. Come on. So you're rolling I keep getting more from screwing Dave over. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Rather act that you might use it to save his life. Then. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Quite a few people. Um, let's do it again. Come on. So you're rolling with a plus one, basically. Seven. Uh, no. I... Come on, one more. You get... Wow. <laughs> oh. uh, so that's two that I've spent. Wow. Oh, oh no! <laughs> You're this, you're this deep now. <laughs> there we go. So that's four inspiration. I'm down to one. So, you, so yes, uh, I roll up your damage then. So it's a, um, uh, just you don't do you do, you do do you take a negative one if you've got that on your strength or I don't is it no? I think you do, unfortunately. Yeah, it does say here. So negative ability modifiers do apply to both attack roll and damage roll. Negative ability okay. modifiers also apply to two weapons, fighting yada yada yada. So one d six minus one. Then roll a one. Roll a one. Oh, I used to slash R. Ah, oh, that's four. Four damage. Uh, how much was it? Uh, tension. Is it enough? Wait, before we know. Nice says, I am become guard, and then throws the spear. <laughs> okay. Um, it's not quite Damn enough. It. You are. You are. Pain. Well, don't forget, it needs, it needs to take damage from the acid. Yeah. Or yes. take an action. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so notice at the start. Well, no, it, it takes it at the start. The start so of it its turn. It's at the start of its turn, and it's 2d4, so the minimum is 2, um, and that is exactly how much health it has left. So yeah, yes. you say, I have become God, you throw this spear across. Um, it plants in directly adjacent to the other spear in its neck, and this thing rolls backwards. Um, <laughs> as, it, as it does, you see the acid begins to overtake it. Um, some of it dribbles down the side of its face into its mouth. There's a gargle and a gout of flame. Um, and then this, this hellhound falls in a pile um, at Fink's feet. Um, and we Yay. are finally Easy. out of Double combat. Double bird to tags. <laughs> Double bird. <laughs> Nice. He makes like a show of it as well. He kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> um, you see, Tars makes this motion towards the gate. No. Um... <laughs> um, okay. Um, so yeah. So yeah. So are you are you flipping Tars off again? Um, can you roll one more uh, performance or persuade for me? Um, um, persuade. <laughs> whichever you're more. Uh, in intimidate. They're all the same. <laughs> I'll just roll. What are they? They're uh, charisma. So I'll just charisma, roll yeah. charisma. Sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. 
<laughs> you see that Tars it once again flips you off, but he's now smiling. Um, uh, <laughs> I do think he's probably taken a liking to <laughs> this defiant bot in the arena. Um, so how, how are we doing on time? Are we, do we want to keep playing for a bit, or should we wrap it up there? I think it'd be probably be good to, to pause here and then pick well, up next time. Could we just finish it then if we're outside of combat? I just want to send a message to to Targs. Um, oh, can you do that? And just say, yeah, I've got message. Nice, yeah, yeah. Um, and just say, are you not entertained? <laughs> nice. Yeah, I think that's where we fade out. So we see Targs grins and re extends a middle finger over towards where... Um, where nice is and then we hear it sort of like the faded the faded echoey voice that applies we're hearing inside his mind we hear nice's are you not entertained so we fade to black and then the credits music play hey ellie wait <laughs> this is the face of tars <laughs> fearful <laughs> ellie what's your angry face that's not an angry face <laughs> ellie, very angry do this, ellie. do this hand gesture <laughs> Do this to all adults. <laughs> Where's the birdie? <laughs> oh, you can't do it. Okay. <laughs> nice. So actually, and um, we have some experience to add up, guys. Yay! <laughs> Quite a bit of experience, I imagine. Yeah, we got yeah. some counting to do. All right, let me get my pen and paper. Hang on um, one second, honey. So, God. Um, so let's start with the Hellhound. So the most recent I've got the page open. Um, there were seven hundred experience apiece. Nice. Um, mm -hmm. So one thousand four hundred for Hellhound. Um, we have one Orchid Slumberer. 